Well, hey, what's up, buddy? Yo, hold on. I never used TeamSpeak. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. It sounds beautiful. Sweet. All right. Let me turn my music off. I'm missing part of the Democratic debate for this. I hope you're happy with yourself. Uh, well, it's it's my chat, man. They love you. They want to hear. I've, I've watched some of your stuff, too. I watched a 40-minute video or like 38 minutes. I know. About, I watched uh, a video of you watching the video. <laughs> oh, shit. And then we all watched me watch it on stream. Yeah, no. What's up? That's meta. Um, well, people wanted to know what you think about the Athene shit. And I don't know what to say. I mean, I have a, I have a feeling there's some fishy shit going on. Well, I mean, everyone does with the view budding and all that. And, okay, but, so um, yeah. how, um, I, I, fuck. So I, I know that you're a really big streamer on Twitch. I'm obviously bigger than me at this point. And I know that you've been streaming for quite a while. How, how long exactly have you been streaming? Oh, I, I, I've been streaming for, I've been streaming since 2012. He, he's okay. So like on JTV wild. and shit? No, I streamed on here in 2012. Oh, okay. But, All right. But, I don't um, what you're um, have you ever? Was a, he was a WoW player. He had like funny videos in WoW, and then I remember he went to League and did some weird shit. Gotcha. I, I didn't follow. Like, made a lot of drama in, in the League community, but I don't really know about what. Okay, so I guess um, I'll, I'll give like kind of the my little. I don't want to say a theme synopsis. There are a lot of people that like him, and the story that I'm going to present is very biased, obviously, because it's just from my point of view. And I'm, maybe you could find somebody to correct some things that I'm saying. But th this is basically my the the big like central problem that I've had with the theme for like the past four years is that he uses charity as a crux for absolutely every single abhorrent behavior he's ever done on stream or, or exhibited on stream. Like, and it's really, really, really fucking obnoxious. Um, so for for a little bit of history on Athene, I guess to kind of inform my opinion of it, to go back to the um, the early days of Athene. So Athene got big on YouTube, right? That best pally in the world shit, right? Did you? Yeah. Right. Okay. Did you? Were you a WoW player originally? I'm sorry, you said that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, you might even know more than me about this. So I was originally under the impression that Athene did a little bit of stuff early on, legitimately in WoW, and then because of his popularity, he was pretty much carried through to every other thing that he did. And then some people have said that even in the beginning, he was boosted, like season one, season two, and shit. I I heard that some guy named Blood X got him his first rank one title in WoW. Yeah, I so yeah, sure. I, I'm not entirely sure to what extent he was carried, but obviously for the for the vast majority of his gaming career, 90% plus, it's it's all been an act, which is okay to some extent, right, for YouTube, because the videos were funny, right? I, I don't know how you feel, but I like the early Athene videos on YouTube. They, they were, were really funny. funny shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they were, and his fucking mom or whatever, whatever lady he got to stand in for his mom with the gun and the crazy shit. Yeah, I like the shit was really funny. Um, and all the videos that he made were pretty funny, but the, um, the big problem, so Athene ran into two huge problems, in my opinion. This has, like, been the, the most, like, self-destructed brand I've ever seen in my entire life. Athene ran into two huge problems. One, when he left YouTube for streaming, he tried to bring that personality with him of being the best gamer in the world, even though he clearly wasn't, right? So there was a huge fuck-up there. Um, and then two, every single thing that he did from, like, fucking, it must have been 2013 onwards, maybe even late 2012, was all... Everything was associated with charity, right? And there's a whole bunch of baggage that comes like wrapped up with that. So, um, a little bit more about for Athene's gaming stuff. I don't know how much you've heard, but like Athene did World of Warcraft. It's pretty clear that there was a lot of like help that he got in, in, in the accomplishments that he was able to achieve in World of Warcraft. In StarCraft, he paid off a person to play an account for him that he claimed was his. Now, whether that was a joke or not, um, whether that was in, in Hearthstone, he has a video of someone else playing his account to rank one, and he's watched it on stream as if it's live like three or four times. I don't know if you know about that. Yep. Yeah. 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 In Hearthstone, yeah. he did it where he watched somebody play, um, where he watched somebody play a video, um, or where he watched a video. Yeah. Okay. So in Hearthstone, he, um, yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. So in Hearthstone, he. Um, yeah, he did that in Hearthstone. In StarCraft, he paid off somebody to do it. Um, hey, did you, have you ever played a MOBA before? Like League or uh, very, um, Dota? I, I've played a MOBA less than pretty much anyone else in the chat. So, like, I got to level 7 in League, you know? I, I really hardly have played MOBA at all, but... Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so, and then in, um, in League of Legends, 
um, Athean played like two champions, okay? And he tried to grind his way. Now, there's nothing wrong with having limited champ pool. I did it um, for League. He played one champion, really. He played Rise and he played a mid all the time. Um, and he only only played that champion. What he did for that game in League of Legends, what you could do is you could solo queue um, where you could queue alone into like a ranked queue or you could duo queue where you got one friend and then you um, duo queued with that friend to um you know do the so the same ladder but what he did was he would queue into league and he would get like multiple people on a team speak or whatever and they would all queue at the same time and he would get friends to dodge for him if it looked like they were going to lose like in champ select or he would get friends on the enemy team to throw right so just huge scumbag shit so pretty much and then and then you have the athene is the poker master um personally i don't even think he ever actually played those poker games that were on that poker stars account and a lot of people say that um or, or i'm pretty sure it's a well-established fact that he only barely broke even because of the rake back program that poker stars had so he wasn't even really like that amazing but i mean the account was okay but like i don't even know if that was him and to be honest if you look at his track record right his track like, record would yeah. make you think that it's probably not exactly him. world of warcraft starcraft 2 league of legends and hearthstone everything has been uh, gamed right so um the thing that set me off about athene initially i don't know he's he made a video and he's you know we've talked we had like an hour-long skype come in the past the thing that set me off initially about athene was when people would ever whenever people fuck this makes me so mad whenever people would fucking criticize anything that he did in the league scene he would always come back with um i'm doing this for the kids like these people in league are trying to shut down my stream and all i'm trying to do is raise money for these kids and it's like holy shit like what, what he did was the most scumbaggish piece of shit thing you could ever do he made his brand become like inexorably tied to this um like donation drive which made like everything that he did um like defensible using the charity thing right he could do anything and he did and he <laughs> did shitty shit in league he did shitty shit in hearthstone and everything that he's done in a stream like there's so much scum like athene has never been a good streamer ever he's never had like a good funny stream which is sad because he could have coming from youtube like coming from youtube and doing this is kind of tangential but if he would have come from youtube and streamed like as just athene the normal guy like that would have actually been a really cool and entertaining stream but instead he tried to bring that you know that huge personality from youtube and he sucked at games and it was oh god there was just like a whole bunch of stupid shit there that made me hate him right so but whatever he did that shit i don't really care he typically streams to like anywhere from 500 to 1500 people if he's like having a huge day um nowadays have you ever looked at like this huge charity stream that he's got running where it's been going yeah, on for like, got, 500, like 500 hours 500 chatters and 8k viewers right? yeah so not only does he have that and, and that wasn't even in the beginning he just recently started getting viewed about it a couple weeks ago if you ever went and watched this stream like all it ever is it's like a random dude in the bottom right I don't even know who the fuck it is. Sometimes it's the Reese guy, and sometimes it's other dudes wearing sunglasses and shit. And they're like obsing, like You're watching two... someone else play Hearthstone in spectator mode. Yeah, and you don't even know who the shitty... fuck it is. It's like random, like rank six and rank two, not not um and not legend, just like rank six and rank just random fucking people, like in, like top twenty percent of the ladder, like playing games. Like who the fuck are these people? Like you go, it's like it's like a step down from the booby streamers. Like at least the booby streamers have to pretend to play the game. But on the Athene live stream, it's always watching. Um, they're just watching random fucking people play. Um, so all of that is now all of that is just whatever everything that I've described up to this point is just stupid bullshit, right? So the part that gets um, a little bit more um, I, I guess like these accusations be more malicious is I, I just don't believe that I don't believe the money that he has is real. It just doesn't make sense um, Do you I, I should know this do you have a YouTube channel? I, I have one, but it's you don't do anything with it. I know those. Uh, it's not that great. Yeah. <laughs> um, do Do you know? Um, I, I mean, like we could go around. So if you want, like we could go around. Are you like in a game right now? I'm, I'm playing Hearthstone, but it's. it's oh yeah, it's Hearthstone. Yeah. I play that for yeah, a yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, I only played uh, Secret Paladin, so I don't even count. I play Secret Paladin right now. I don't have to think at all, man. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Um, so like if you go to like any YouTube channel, so um, I, I don't do the YouTube game heavily. Um, obviously, if you, if you I, I think I've got like thirty thousand YouTubers. But if you go if you go around to the YouTube channels, it seems to me that, and I'm basing this on like um, I'm going to uh, in the TeamSpeak chat. 
if you look under Dead Man's channel, you can go look at Total Biscuits channel. Channel, you can go look at Total Biscuits channel. Um, you can look at my channel. It seems like the average amount of engagement you would expect to see on a YouTube channel is about like one fifth to one third of the subscribers, right? So if you have 100,000 subs and you're putting out like a video a day or, you know, like three to five videos a week, you would expect to see with 100,000 um, subs, you would expect to see about 30 to 50,000 people watching each video. You, you would you would hope that. Okay. Um, obviously, yeah. some channels do better, some channels do worse. Um, but but if you look at most large successful channels, these are about the engagement numbers that I expect to see. Um, and then including mine in that, not that I'm largely successful, but just I, I see similar numbers. If you, have you okay? Mine, mine's probably similar. Yeah, mine's Rectful TV. If you wanna. Um, sure. I'm bringing up. Um, I can't really talk and type at the same time because the team's fake. So like, if you go to a themes YouTube channel, this is like the story of a dying channel. Okay, so I linked it. Like, you can see, right? He has 750,000 subs on YouTube. So he has, like, 25 times as many subs as I do. And he has, like, three times as many viewers. Look at the viewership on these videos, right? Uh, wait, how do you link stuff on TeamSpeak? I've never um, used TeamSpeak. I'm sorry. So um, if you scroll down, you'll see, like, little links being posted in a chat called Dead Man Crew. You might have to click off of Destiny. Oh, I have to click Dead Man Crew. Okay, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. Yeah. Athene wins. Okay. Yeah, so just look at the videos in this channel. 34,000, 53,000, 49,000, like... 28,000. Right. This is horrible engagement, right? For 736,000 subs. Like, and this has kind of been the story of his channel. His channel's been dying like pretty hardcore over the past, I don't know what, four years because he just hasn't done much stuff anymore. Everything he does is related to that charity stuff, right? So if you look at like, I'm, I'm just trying, because right now this is just like an, an analysis of like his potential like cash flow, right? Or, or revenue streams, right? So I don't think he's making much money from YouTube. It doesn't seem like it. Um, with viewership like this, he's making um, maybe, yeah. maybe I mean, 1,500 a month. Making like a hundred dollars per 100k views right um i uh, maybe i think it's I mean, it like on 150 channel, to 200 dollars. i think it's what my current numbers are but I, maybe i don't have enough youtube red viewers or something i don't know but yeah something like that yeah um so yeah it's, so it seems like he's not making very much money from the youtube part of things when you look at his stream he only ever has anywhere from 500 to 1500 200 to 800 before the view botting started 800 before the view botting started right so like 500 to 800 viewers per stream. Um, so he's not making much money on the stream side of things. He's not making money on the YouTube side of things. I guess he could be rocking huge sponsorships, but where's the exposure for the sponsorships? What numbers does he sell these companies? And then on top of all of that, you have a theme making these huge donations to him. I think he said the last one he did was 19 days. I think he said the last one he did was 19 days and he raised $100,000. Where? Who's watching a theme? Nobody watches a theme. You can't go yeah, to yeah, any yeah. subreddit. You don't You don't ever see that. When people were shit-talking him in the League subreddit, when people were shit-talking him in the Hearthstone, where are all of these Athene fans coming out to defend him? They don't exist because he doesn't have the fan base and nobody watches him anywhere. So where are these huge sums of money coming from that he's able to throw $10,000 at random Twitch streams? Not random, I'm sorry. But $10,000 at, like, uh, Soda Pop and then I guess now, um, uh, uh, Wreckful? Or, no, uh, fuck, um... Oh, fuck, That's I want to say Frodo. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> fuck, I'm looking for the name. Raynard. <laughs> Fucking Raynard, Raynard, Raynard. Um, Raynard or Shadow Yeah. Yeah, where he's able to throw 10 grand to some of these people. I don't know if he did it to not for uh, Raynard or not. I don't know if he's able to throw, um, how was he able to throw $10,000 cash to these people to get him on his platform? And now he's trying to build a platform that competes with Twitch alerts. And again, he defends that platform with, it's for the kids. Like, what a piece of shit. Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> really like, you understand that's like the word. Like, that's you've got these fucking, okay, like, man. starving African kids with these huge fucking bellies because their shit is fucked and exploding and they're being used to market as shitty fucking Twitch alerts com com <laughs> like competitors program like are you fucking serious like i don't know like it just see it like i don't believe in, in any of the numbers that he's that he's giving i just it's not possible that he could raise that much money and i know there are going to be people in your chat and there are people in my chat earlier that'll say things like well you know this guy uh you know civ hd raised a hundred thousand in like a day and like you even raised you know thirty five thousand you know a long time ago and that was just in starground it's like in one day and it's like yeah sure but the thing is like those um donation drives and you know this right every streamer knows this you can do something like that as a one-off but if you to do that every single day for fucking four years after three days your donations would drop back off into whatever they normally were per day yeah. you can't donation drive constantly every single fucking day and then like in the next be like now guys we're also going to do this we're going to make 100k and i do this like it just doesn't work that way people get fatigued as fuck especially yeah. when the viewer base you have is is in is like in the low 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 four digits sometimes high three digits like 
Yeah, so that's pretty much my thing on a theme. The fact that he's trying to compete with Twitch alerts now and he's still using that for them kids fucking as a defense for everything he does is just, it just really fucking rubs me the wrong way. And that's even without looking into the potential maliciousness of the marketing because I don't, I don't believe any of the numbers. Like nothing adds up. Um, go, what, do you, what do you on twitch.tv slash rec, recful? You're just recful, right? Yeah, yeah just recful. Yep. If I click Recful's little profile thing, and then I look at your past broadcasts, look at these, 1,542, 8,000. Nobody, nobody watches on Twitch like past broadcasts, right? But some people still do, right? Um, yeah. So like, yeah, so like 1,500, 8,100, 3,600, 5,200. Yeah, like, okay, wow, you look like a moderately, moderately popular streamer, right? Um, and then if I go to look at my past broadcast, click Destiny, <clears throat> click on my go to profile brass past broadcast okay wow i'm not as big as recful but 571 1084 eh, 383 509 541 1074 okay cool so it looks like i'm kind of an okay size streamer and then you go to like athene live click the fucking athene picture go to past broadcasts 91 30 42 42 39 here i'll link you the i'm gonna do it right now Take like this is dead. 21. 39. Like, he doesn't even have enough family members to fucking drive the <laughs> Like, it's actually ridiculous, right? Like, that's pretty funny. The numbers I don't add up. This shit. So, like, if you were a sponsor or you, you're a streamer, you understand how the numbers work, right? You, like, because we know, we, we look at these numbers every fucking day. We know, like, if somebody above you goes offline, you're going to pick up viewers when you, like, every, we know how all this shit works, right? But when you look at all of a theme's numbers, if you look at the shit engagement on fucking YouTube, if you look at the horrible viewership on um, Twitch, you look at the horrible viewership on VODs, every indicator is that he's just not getting very much viewership anywhere. So, where is all of these hundreds of thousands of dollars coming from for donations for, Right, that... Yeah, it's weird. It, wait, so, uh, with, with his new, uh, Twitch Alerts platform, what, um, does he take a tiny percent? I don't or? think so. I tried throwing a donation at it earlier, and it just was $5 through PayPal. It didn't, like, show anything on that end. Now, I don't uh -huh. know if there's, like, something that he scrapes off of the other end, because we wouldn't have access to that information. Um, to actually know that, I don't know if your friends... I don't know who anybody's friends with Sam on the outside of all Twitch Alerts doesn't take anything now, and they're planning to make money somehow, right? Um, oh. yeah, I'm not entirely sure how they plan to make money, but, you know, they're, I mean, they were taking 1% and they, won't, they went to zero, so I don't know if they got capital investment or what, but, um, if, if you were to find a friend, ask a friend that streams on, um, that gaming for good shit, try to throw five bucks at them and ask them to go into their PayPal and see how much of that money they actually got. Does the donation show up as, like, 495 or what, like? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, but even, even if... He's not taking a little percent off that. Just growing that platform can eventually make. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, what we're talking know, about is really like, besides the fact because a ton of people use Game Starts without taking any money, like you know, yeah. Twitter didn't have any monetization for a long time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and he can use that platform to market to to keep whatever mystery revenue streams live. Where does he make money from? What do you what do you what do you think? <laughs> what? That's weird. We watched a video on YouTube earlier of a, of the gaming house that he bought, and it's literally like a fucking hospital. It's like three floors with like twenty rooms on each floor. Like, where the fuck is the money coming from in Germany? What the fuck? Maybe when he did the he did the big charity streams, and every streamer contributed. I even did like two years ago that he wanted me to do a charity stream, but it was this was before he had done as much. Uh, scummy shit or I, at least I didn't know so much about it and everyone raised like several thousand dollars for gaming for good or whatever mm -hmm. and I, you know there's a chance that he just got to scrape off like a percent off the top or something of the millions of dollars right and we wouldn't know maybe I don't know I mean he's always insisted that he, he doesn't ever take it. anything a single cent he's never ever ever taken anything like he always says that he's doing it for free but I mean yeah yeah I have, I have no idea if there's scraping going on or what I mean if there's scraping going on that's kind of even worse, I don't know. Like, it like none of it wouldn't bother me if he actually did like real shit or did cool shit anymore. But he doesn't. All of the content that he's involved in is fucking garbage. He's literally just runs around fundraising. Look at his fucking channel right now. Like, this is literally like as much as people hate the fucking booby streamers. Like, this is a step below. Like, there's not even games being played. Like, it's not even a person cutting trees and RuneScape in the background or pretending to play with a huge webcam. Like, it's some boring fucking dude. I can't even fucking jerk off to this shit. And the fucking <laughs> gameplay is like not even. They won't even observe like legend people. Like, there's a rank 16 versus a rank. 
rank 16 like it's not even gameplay like uh just the fact that the content that he that he is consistently he has consistently put out a content of such a low level on this channel for over such a long period of time that it's actually amazing that that he could maintain like you would think that even accidentally that he would create a good piece of content at least once over the past three years <laughs> but it's never happened like it's ridiculous <clears throat> Yeah, but that's that's pretty much that's pretty much that there. Don't do it. Don't go to gaming for good. I loved Raynad because he seemed like a really smart guy, and now he's on gaming for good. So I feel like <laughs> I feel like everybody's gonna head over there. Uh, yeah, you probably are, man. Uh, so it sucks that we don't even know what he's doing with it. We can't even say, oh, he's obviously doing this and that. We we have no idea, right? Mm -hmm. We're just speculating based on his track record. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But yeah. again, like this is one of those things where I I mean you know all too well, right? With Masan and shit, like the viewbotting, like this is something that you can never prove without literally going to their house and like holding them a gunpoint and having the email address yeah, yeah, yeah. and like PayPal passwords and shit. Like you'd never prove anything, right? Kind of like the this viewbot shit is like real good for a thing, and you you know that, right? Like everything. Because, I mean, how does viewbotting work? Like, viewbotting is, like, the best thing on fucking Twitch. Like, there's no reason why everybody shouldn't viewbot, right? Because you viewbot, oh, well, it's not me. It's somebody's doing it to me. You can play the pity card. You are getting right. boosted Especially on the Twitch. Especially in the bigger sections, like Hearthstone. You, you pick up so many viewers just by being... Yeah, the Hearthstone, Link, CSGO. Yeah, of course. So that's why, Athene, the sat... Then the most, the most fucking frustrating thing about the viewbotting shit isn't that people do it and then some people feel bad for them. It's that those people will inevitably grow large. As long as their stream is kind of, sort of, halfway decent, right? Like Masan's, right? You will get there if you view about long enough you'll always get there it happened in the starcraft community with another guy um yeah it's really fucking annoying and then you can just play the victim the entire time so you're getting it like on both ends like you're getting the feel oh, good no, like it's... they're view botting me <laughs> yeah like oh my god like i like it oh my god like when people say that can you imagine like two people and they're gonna be like oh dude it was so epic we totally trolled massage so hard oh my god did you see we got him on cloud nine? Oh, dude he's so fucked oh my like come on like are you fucking serious like you think somebody hates you so much that uh and and then that they would get they would boost your entire fucking career. <clears throat> yeah, every day they're, they're sitting there viewing your channel every day. Okay, the only when I was talking about Masan, I was like, okay, maybe you know, it's possible, I guess. Maybe a family member of his sits there and boosts his career every day, like his mom, right? The thing that killed Masan when they sh the Twitch should have sent like the assassins to his fucking house is when he did that shit to Amaz on the Team Liquid forums. Yeah. Where he made that alternate account and tried to accuse Amaz or whatever of viewbotting after he probably fucking bought viewbots for him. Like, that shit should have been the, when the trigger was fucking pulled, when the guillotine was fucking dropped. Holy shit. <clears throat> the, um, the DCing during the tournaments to get a different hand or whatever was probably not cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard about that first hand. You, people didn't see it because he it was a pre-recorded tournament, so they only saw one take. But uh -huh. some of my friends who were in the tournament, like, I think Gara said he DC'd against him three times. And, um, I mean, he DC'd against everyone until he got the best mulligan. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty scummy. Yeah, but, pretty good. and then Twitch doesn't want us, doesn't want me to talk about shit like that as often, because, you know, if I talk about other people view botting, more people will view bot because they know they won't get caught. That's such bullshit. Fuck. Then, yeah, yeah, it sucks. No, like, they, if you just, talk to other people, like, there are so many people that have gotten partnerships off the back of, like, view botting and shit. Like, it's such bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I the the you know you know the actual thing is right or wait are we allowed to, I don't want to get you like banned again or permanently banned or whatever oh fuck are they like mods? You get banned all the time, man. <laughs> wait, are you banned right now? Not right now, no. I not got right banned now. a year ago for like a week because we watched a YouTube video on my stream like out of nowhere. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, all, all of a sudden after I started talking about my son, I started getting reported all the time for not gaming content. Yeah, I yeah. Just, I just watch YouTube videos for like an hour here and there, and yeah, I, yeah. Any, any fucking time I do it for a second, I get fucked. It's just like, I uh. <laughs> I'm not allowed to watch YouTube videos anymore, sure. basically. Wait, and like, yeah. the, the, uh, the thing that's annoying about Twitch is like, that wouldn't be so bad. Like, okay, if that's your rule, like, that's cool. But it force it consistently. Like, what the fuck? Like, why is it that, yeah, it's the whole, like, you know, some people get super fucked for some things, then other people, like, it just completely rolls yeah, off their that. back. And yeah, and that's how, that's like been the history with Twitch, right? Is that they won't take a firm stance on fucking anything. So it's like, what what is allowed and what isn't? Well, it just depends on how close you are to Hassan, or <laughs> I guess, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm just kidding. I love you, Hassan, if you ever listen to this. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's really annoying. 
Yeah, and the, and the viewbot thing has been a, a thing as well. Like, I think the problem is, like, Twitch isn't going to address it because it only makes them look bad, and they don't realistically have a solution for it, so they're just going to say nothing about it and just go on and, and whatever. And I exactly. think that's yeah. it, yeah. Exactly. Also, it might be scary for Twitch to admit that viewbotting exists because I don't know how that would affect their ability to sell ad inventory. Like, I don't know if... Maybe, oh, that's uh, true. Yeah, maybe everybody that advertises should be like, wait, so people actually view bot? Then we're definitely not going to, you know, I don't know how much that affects it. <clears throat> did you, oh, <laughs> did you ever hear, um, Athene challenged Alex Ick or whatever. Is it Alex Ick or Alex Itch? I don't know how the fuck his name is pronounced. Some league guy, a decent league guy. I don't think he was pro, but he was like semi-pro, like really good. To a rise versus rise, 1v1 mid battle in League of Legends. Um, and Alex thought that it was going to be like a tryhard game, so he tried hard and everything. And then Athene showed up, you know, talking all of his shit. Everybody knew Athene was going to get fucking shit on, except for like the seven fanboys, um, not including like the three family members that watch Athene that were probably cheering for him. And at the end of the last game, Athene gets fake squatted, uh, or fake swatted, where he fakes himself like and then like cuts the stream and then Alex had like no idea so he's just like sitting there playing and has no idea what's going on and then Athene comes out with a video later saying like oh we thought it would be funny um, in the off chance that I lost that like I would have a fake SWAT go on the off chance that I lost yeah well I, I might be paraphrasing a little bit but yeah yeah it's pretty funny <laughs> quite the uh, quite the memes oh apparently Alex Eck was one of the best league players in the world he was on the LCS for a long time oh sorry okay he was way better than I thought my bad they're they're linking something that uh, the bot detector on Twitch shows Athena. I mean, we, people know Athena's has bots though already, guys in chat. I mean, some of you might not, but yeah, it's just even he admitted himself that he has bots in his chat, but he's saying that someone else is viewbotting him. Yeah, if you That's, go to his yeah. channel and you see the video called um, Athene Live Viewbotted, it's got a good minute and thirty second intro of dying kids in Africa before he even talks about it. So yeah, it's a good. Yeah, yeah. You know, if if they're dying kids in Africa and you're helping them, then it's okay to you could do anything. You could you could you could view bot. You could watch vods of yourself playing a game. You could pretend to get swatted when you're gonna lose. I linked. Um, um, I think this is chill. available via the uh, Twitch API. This is a dump of all the chatters in his chat at any given point in time in the count. So right now he has 829 chatters in his chat. How many how many chatters do I have in my chat? For comparison. <laughs> Um, hold on, I'm looking it up. Fuck. Where the where the fuck does your name come from? A name? Yeah. What like what's the inspiration? Oh, um, actually, my friend gave me a, an account in WoW that was already leveled up with this name in like fucking 2007 or something. But it's just it's just a play on reckless, I guess. Oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Okay, um, yeah, here's, uh, I linked yours. So you have 7,384 chatters right now in your chat out of 8,720 <laughs> viewers. So almost one per one, which is pretty high. So if you are viewbotting, then you've got the ones that stay in your chat as well. Yeah, I got, I got the good viewbots too. <laughs> yeah. the, the chatter viewbot. Did you ever see the one with Masan where he had them typing messages? <laughs> to <himself>? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I man. seriously had some weird chat bots in my chat a couple days after I talked about him. Mm -hmm. like maybe he was trying to... I don't know. I, I can't say that he was definitely trying to fuck me by putting... But I'd, I'd, I'd bot saying stuff like, Lana Del Ye, so hot. And just out of nowhere, you know? Just random chatbots. Oh, sure. So, oh, sure. Yeah. So you have, um, so you had like 7.4k chatters out of 8.7k viewers. Athene, Athene had, I think, like 800 chatters, and he's got almost 9k viewers. Pretty yeah, he's owning me. Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah. Reckon you pretty hard. Well, no, you've got like 50 more viewers than him right now. Good job. Oh, sweet. Everyone's saying Lana Del Ye so hot. Nice, guys. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Well, they said you could help me with my random Windows 10 problem. Oh, but, probably, uh, probably not. What is it? Not. Wait, do you use Windows 7 still? No, I've got 10 on both my computers now. Meme and hardcore. So, uh, wait, how, how come you moved from 7? I, I miss 7. Um, but, uh, okay, for me personally... I like to use the newest software available because it's going to be coming eventually, inevitably. So I figure that the sooner you get used to it and everything, as long as it's stable, like I don't hop on a beta clients or alpha clients or anything, right? But as soon as it's usable, you might as well get on it and get used to it so that when you're inevitably forced to switch, um, yeah. it's not like this jarring fucking experience. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there, it seems to be, um, since Windows 7, I think there have always been like a few, like I know from 7 to 8.1, there were a few like under the hood tweaks um, just for how little things worked in the OS. Although usually the computers that we use are so large that it doesn't really matter that much for us. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the reason. What, what from Windows 7 are you missing that Windows 10 doesn't have? Um, I'm not missing things. I just some of the features I don't really know how to turn off, and it's not intuitive. Like I try and I try to type it in the run bar, and it doesn't actually pop up. Yeah. So or, the worst yeah. thing about Windows 10, 100% over um, Windows 8.1, actually, is that in 8.1 you could type, you could push the Windows key and search for something, and I swear to God, you could find like anything on your computer. On Windows 10, it seems to be really fucking hard to do that. I don't know if the indexing is just shit. I've tried a ton of different options. To change I was thinking mine, maybe but... it's only searching my my hard drive with Windows on it and not my other hard drives. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But the problem is even if you check all those options. Like it's still like if I go to my gaming computer right now on stream and search for CSGO, like it won't show the executable, even though I specifically have that folder checked. Like it's pretty annoying. I, I don't know what's up with the Windows 10 search, but hopefully it's something that gets fixed in the future. I don't know. And then um, sometimes everything just minimizes, but I'm sure you can turn that off somehow. Are you pushing it's Windows key and D at the same time? No, I'm just okay right now. I have. So I have, I have some Windows Explorer windows open, just I'm trying to move some files, and they're, they're, I have this like kind of shitty hard drive that's taking forever to transfer files over. So I mouse over to see the progress on this this transfer, it's at 77%, and then everything minimizes when I'm mousing over. I could actually show it on my webcam, but... Um, I have right, to I'm turn my... It, fuck, I have to make my uh, webcam like auto exposure for a sec, so you can actually see... Some people are saying disable um, arrow peak. A Wait, you're using Windows 10, right? Yeah. All right, so here it, here it is. So, um, um, fuck. I'll go full screen, goddammit. All right. And that's annoying as fuck. And like, I'm, I'm looking at... Hold on, I'm uh, waiting for, just, the, uh... for the... Uh... Oh, yeah, it, it takes a while, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a feature. <laughs> um, that's that's a feature. Why would I want that? <laughs> so Wait, what's that, happening is I, well, no, I can't. I still can't find it. Even after it uh like peaks, it closes everything else. I click that. It doesn't show me that window that shows the file transfer progress. So that window might be fucked somewhere. But what happens is actually I think this is even available on Windows 8.1. What's happening is um if you go down and you hover your mouse over anything that you currently have running down in that uh taskbar or whatever. Um, and then you highlight it with the mouse, like if you move your mouse over it, um, what I guess the feature, the idea is if you've got too many windows open, you can't find it, it will make everything else 100% uh, transparent so that you can find where that window is, if that makes sense. So like okay, if, if now, you go back to that, to not be yeah, if it's not anywhere. visible somewhere, mm -hmm. maybe you drag it to like a corner um, or something weird like that. You could try right um, after you bring that up, like if you hover your mouse over that thing that's causing everything to disappear, um, if you right click it, you might be able to do maximize or restore to move the window back to where. No, I can't do those. I could do move. And then maybe I can move it with arrow keys, huh? Um, yeah, if you right click it, do move. Oh, I found it. Yeah. I got the window. Yeah, it's back. Nice. Do you ever click the things that people link in your chat? Um, yeah, they're linking something about Soda Pop and making a bunch of money his first day on. Oh, it was, I think, 16,000 and then like 9,000 went to charity or whatever. Yeah, I think I saw it. 18,000. 18,000 personal, 9,000 to charity, yeah. So a lot of this is getting into conspiracy. This is like, I don't even endorse this, but a lot of that money was being donated by a guy who also donated a lot of money to a theme stream whose website links back to his resume with a lot of businesses apparently that a lot of people were saying aren't legit or like don't exist or are really shady. I, I now that's again that's into like conspiracy territory. I don't know or not, but one of the things that I kind of wondered this is and this is another just conspiracy theory. I don't know if it's actually true or not. One of the things that I kind of wondered is since Athene's viewership is so low, I wonder if he would do something where like um, you know you know how you can donate money to yourself. Some people do that, donate money to themselves to try to encourage other people to donate. Right, you think he's yeah. donating to set up up and maybe I wonder if like he has so like you have so like imagine this you go set up another PayPal account that you've transferred, you know, say twenty grand to. Say you're doing a fifty thousand donation drive and what you do is you keep donating like five hundred to a thousand dollars to yourself to encourage other people to jump on. At the end of a fifty thousand dollar donation drive, you might have donated thirty thousand, forty thousand about yourself, but you got other people to jump onto the, the wagon, you know, to donate with you to you. 
I kind of wonder if something like that is going on where a lot of the money is being funneled back through that. Oh, yeah, and someone's saying now, um, someone in my chat said, Destiny, it should be noted that people are seeing $1,000 donations from people who have never donated to Soda Poppin' before. Yeah. Um, hmm. Wait, so what? what what's his plan with all that? I don't so know, dude. I don't know. None of it makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. He just wants to have the biggest fucking donating platform dick waving thing, and maybe he'll try to sell that platform for money, or maybe... I, I don't know, or maybe he'll use that as a platform to leverage future endorsements and sponsorships. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe he'll use that to get other sponsors, huh? Yeah, maybe, because yeah. it used to be, Athena and Razor used to be super tight. Maybe he could be like, hey, like, I run this platform and it's the biggest fucking meme on the, all the donating shit, so... I don't know. I, I like. I figured, like, like I said, right now the biggest problem I have with Athene, um, just in looking at like a brand analysis, like for a value of like his brand, he has no eyes on him anywhere. Maybe this is a way to get that back. He doesn't have eyes on him on YouTube. He doesn't have eyes on him on Twitch. Um, well, I mean, a guy in chat says the seven K donation seems to be from the investor uh, slash VC who paid for the development of the G four G website. Would be interesting so to see a link to that. 7K. If you could, if you could show a link proving that, that would be interesting. But yeah, the dozer. Yeah. Yeah. It's again. Someone's helping me with my Windows 10. Hold on. Uh, do you use push to talk on TeamSpeak? I, I haven't used push to talk in years. I'm using it right now, but. Um, yeah, I do. I. Okay, just wondering. Destiny, you used to play StarCraft a lot. Now you play League, or do you? What do you play now? Um, you know, now I kind of just do whatever the fuck I want. I'm kind of variety gaming. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to play Hearthstone for a bit. Um, yeah. Hearthstone's, uh, Hearthstone's pretty boring. It's it's a good game to stream though, because you just kind of hang out and talk. Well, but I don't have I don't have a game that really captures my attention. Yeah. yeah. The problem is I'm starting to get up there. I don't. I mean, you look a little young, but I'm almost 30, 27 years old. So I need like games to keep my brain. Yeah, I'm active 26, man. And my hands active, and I figure if I play Hearthstone too much, I'm gonna go. Did you say I look young? I mean, I saw that haircut, and it didn't look like anything a self-respecting older 20s person would have. So I wasn't sure. I just got a circuit yesterday, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it beautiful. I'm sure. Uh... That's good though. I look young. Okay, we're chilling. Yeah, sure. I'm, yeah. I'm balding. I'll show you. Here, look. Look at that. Oh wow! Someone in my chat said that. I didn't know if it was a meme or not, though. It's alright. It's beautiful. Okay, I support your hairstyle now. I don't want to disparage you or anything. Did you actually buy that red coat on Twitter? All of my fans want to know. They're not asking now, but... Did I buy what on Twitter? Did you buy that red yeah. coat on Twitter? Yeah, you like it? It's beautiful, <laughs> I love it, actually. I'll show you it, one sec. Jesus, fuck. Hey, if Rekful's not at the computer right now, everyone in Rekful's chat, you guys should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. What the fuck is this spam shit? Are you guys even fucking trying? No, spammerino. No, it's not. No. No. <laughs> Man, push attack sucks. I'm changing this. Oh, yeah, no, I guess Alright, red coat's on. <laughs> I own. Look at me. But this, I think it's like it worked better when I had long hair. Yeah, I was gonna stand up, but never mind. Wow, it's beautiful. I like it. It's a good. It's good shit. Doesn't really work with the Adidas logo on there, but it's okay. Yeah, I, I understand the. Uh, I can Fuck, see my like, hair looks message. stupid, man. No, it's okay. It's beautiful. Don't mind Hold me, on. dude. I've done my hair the same way since I was two years old, so. Okay. I don't really think it's beautiful. Of course I do. No, actually, it's funny because a lot of people. Um... Hold on. Fuck. I bought um I bought a ridiculously amazing uh, blue coat of my own, and a lot of people make fun of me for it. And then people started linking your Twitter, uh, pointing at stuff. So it was just kind of funny. Hold on, let's see if we can find a picture. Wow, you look like an Assassin's Creed character here. Now you just put the hood on. And I, my haircut doesn't matter anymore. There you go. That's so, my, uh, 
Hello, this call. is another loyal viewer to your stream. Donation train hype. Wow, thanks, not a bot too. Wow. It's beautiful. What a nice coat. Thanks. <laughs> Milady. Uh Rack and Destiny, is there any proof that Athene has actually given the money he's generated to charity, or any proof that he didn't? So this is something mm -hmm. that I would like to play, like, I, I have to go benefit of the doubt, or, or, like, I just have to be reasonable. I can't, there's no way that he's stolen all this money, right? He would have gotten caught by now, surely, right? Seems that way, but... You're like, I don't, I don't think... to talk about it, though. You're, people are scared to talk against someone who's doing a lot of shit for charity, because then they, they seem like bad people. Oh, yeah, of course, right? yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I, I wouldn't assume that I, I feel like there's some scraping going on, but I feel kind of bad saying that because I'm saying that with no evidence. Um, but there's no way that he's stolen like a large amount of it. I feel like that had that would have definitely been caught, I think. It, I, I imagine. Guys, did I miss any savageness out of the end of the debate? Are these fuckers eating on my grass? Is it actually not? Even legit charities scrape a good amount, right? They they give themselves uh, salaries. Um, the big ones? Yeah, of course, yeah. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with making money off of charity. It's just that's yeah. why that's why like I didn't want this to. Um, is sorry, hold on. the dankest dungeon. I mean, they're doing a better job than generic message insert here number one. Be getting, it's fine for them to get paid. As a, yeah, I totally yeah, agree. Somewhere. And even competitively, like, I think they should be paid well. If you can raise a lot of money for charity, that's a valuable asset. And you should be paid for it. Um, it. That's why I was really careful to, um, I didn't want to just come on your stream and say, God, I fucking hate Athene. Like, I laid out the whole story. Like, I think there's a really good reason to think that Athene is a huge scumbag. And it's not just because he makes money from charity stuff. Like, it's everything. The fact that he's been a, a plight on, a blight? A blight on every single gaming community that he's been in. Like, every community he's been involved with has hated him for good reason. Right? Yeah, sorry, no push to talk, and I was putting the code away. Oh, yeah. No. Far. Yeah, so every single, um, yeah, every everything he's been involved in, and the fact that his stream has just been a monumental failure in, in inability to produce good content over the past, fuck, like, three years. It's nothing good has happened, like, on his stream, so. What are you guys spamming? so hard to even click these links when they get spammed by it. Yo, you need to get some fucking mods in this chat and clean these motherfuckers up. Then they call me a Nazi, man. Good, fucking let him do it, dude. Do you see how big fucking Germany was before Hitler killed himself? Sorry, I missed it. What'd you say? Do you see how big Germany got before Hitler killed himself? Have you ever seen some of those World War II maps of the height of Nazi Germany power? Yeah. So there you go. It's only a matter of time before we get banned by Twitch, so fucking ride that shit out. It's hard as I'm just kidding. Fuck, does Rackful's chat have fucking admins in it? No, he doesn't, okay. What, you got like 20 mods in your chat. What the fuck do these people even do? I don't know, man. So what's your chat like? Your chat's just chilling? <laughs> a little bit. Truly, this um, is I am Nazi Germany to my chat dungeon. though, so. Add command URL, Twitch, Destiny, PayPal, donate amount, 5, add message. Hey bro, love your stream, keep up the I good work, don't let all the people um, that claim you view bot let you I don't down know if you end. I command. from your chat. I just kind of met them recently, they live in the same city. Uh, one stupid monkey. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, but he, he I, I watched, in the video I watched of you, you said that he's, uh, he baits a lot or something. Yeah, I know, I know. I him in real life, and I was scared. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's okay. I, I know who you're talking about, though. Well, who else? Okay. And then, uh, Vermicelli, I don't know if you know him. Yeah, he doesn't, I don't think he watches as much anymore, but he used to be really active in chat. I remember him, yeah. Holy okay. He seemed like an okay dude. The dankest dungeon. The, the Vermicelli guy, uh, I think just you're just a lying cut crab destiny. <laughs> I don't have any real life you should 1v1 like cake people, fork yeah. so he can show so, you how yeah, impressive his lessons have yeah. been. Oh, wait. D feels. You have a kid, right? Or yeah, one. To keep I you, think. You think you think you're on? I think I just have one, yeah. Yeah, he's almost yeah. five. He'll be five in uh, five days. So, um. 
How about, now that you're pretty bored of most games, it sounds like, or, it did, did sound like that, right? Um, kind uh, of, yeah. What do you do for fun? <laughs> I stream. Yeah, man. <laughs> the, um, I used to play StarCraft 2 a lot, like, hardcore, um, but the problem is, um, StarCraft 2 used to be, like, the biggest game in all of streaming, so it was cool. You know, you stream StarCraft 2. I was the biggest streamer. I was fucking huge, and that was cool. But then what happened was um, League started to grow immensely. The League stream started to overtake StarCraft 2, like, by orders of magnitude. It was fucking huge. And then um, I kind of continued to stream StarCraft 2, but the game is dying. There's not much of an audience there. Like, if I go to StarCraft 2 and I stream, like, all day, like, I could maybe pull, like, 4,000 viewers, and that's the most viewers that any StarCraft stream can ever get. Um, and there's, like... One other person, I guess, pulled sometimes, and maybe Naniwa could get around the same amount, maybe. But, like, that's all you can ever get out of the StarCraft community, so... If you keep streaming yeah. in the community, there's not much future ahead. Um, Truly, yeah. this is Depressing. the yeah. dankest yeah. dungeon. Um, How hmm. dare you accuse Athena of me, stealing money WoW, when we're still waiting on Destiny got, 2, Kappa? I mean, I, I used to enjoy the game, like, 2009 or something. 2010. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... I still, I was still enjoying the game in 2011, 12, but then it, it just got worse and worse, and I just don't like it at all anymore. Sure. Also, I got banned. Oh, well, uh, at one point, permanent, you get I got permanently for? banned after. Oh, because it was years. for um, leveling other accounts, boosting accounts. It was for boosting someone else's account, but I wasn't actually boosting it. I was just playing it to see what it, you know, because in WoW, you can't just try. Like if you're if you're playing StarCraft, you can just try Zerg or try Terran. You can try the other ones, but in, in WoW you can't just try it. You have to level it just sure. to play it in PvP. Did you even try to get unbanned? Did you make a sad video like Swifty did with the music and everything? I made a sad video, man. Did you have the music? Was it in black and white? Uh, I didn't do black and white or music. Ah, uh, well, how, what the fuck? How am I supposed to know to be sad with your video if you don't put sad music there? Right, right, right. How am I supposed <laughs> to know it's a serious video? It's not in black and white. See, come on, dude. Gotta get your YouTube game on point. Yeah. I think it would have been better if I didn't make any video and I just privately con like the thing is I got banned while I was streaming. But if I didn't get banned while I was streaming, I would have just been like, "Yo, Blizzard, I got banned," and then they would have helped me. But then once I made it a big deal, they couldn't unban me because then it looked bad. Yeah, yeah, probably. Blizzard's pretty big on that. Been a huge fan since 2002. Love your Age of Empires streams. Thanks for oh, being yeah. original. Now I'm just a sad cunt. I just play Hearthstone. The, um, for me personally, I guess, because we play different games, obviously, I've always, I've always been big on, like, the mechanical aspect of a game, so StarCraft 2 was really fun for me there. Um, so switching from StarCraft to Hearthstone was kind of painful. Right. Like, not that it's a bad, I don't think it's a bad game. Well, compared to, like, Magic, maybe, but, <laughs> but, um, no, the, the lack of, um, like, mechanics being involved, like, I didn't feel like I was improving from every single game to game, like you would in, like, a MOBA or in, um, CSGO right, right, or right, something right. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, that was, like, a really big point for me, so I got, like, 400 Legend, like, smashing my face with, uh, the Paladin deck, and then I was like, okay, well, this is fun, and then I ripped on. Truly, this is... Yeah, uh, for me, I don't, I don't see it as something competitive. I've, TFW like, Vermicelli season, didn't yeah, want to does. move in with that, me, but so did with Reckful. Really, I mean, like he changed. wanted. Really, Some yeah. famous Twitch streamer Peppy. Big deal, and then climbing for rank one legend is just a lot of luck, and you wouldn't want to do that on stream anyway, because then. Oh yeah, uh, it, people ghost you and shit. Yeah, people ghost you and shit, and even if you get it, you really feel that created by yourself. I don't know. You yeah. just you realize that you won some coin flips. Uh, so. Uh, but I, I I play it just... Oh, I'm at two health. Fuck, yo. <laughs> I didn't notice. Um, I play it just because it's, like, it's something I could be doing right now while while talking to you. And not a lot of games are, are like that. Yeah, for sure. I should have put this. But, um... Hmm. I, I try to Street Fighter to play something competitive. And it's pretty fun. But uh, every game I try, I have had I have that feeling that other people have been playing it for a long time. Even though it's a new Street Fighter, you know, other people know Street Fighter mechanics from other ones. And then, um, and then, uh, if I want to go, I wouldn't want to play League because people have been playing that for five years. And obviously, I can't play StarCraft because people have been playing that for a long ass time. Plus, it's, it'd be way too hard for me. And it requires and bad. There's 14 no hours that sitting you there. Would one, fuck one, your one. viewership doing it too. There's no point. Yeah. Fuck your viewership. And it'd be, and it, it, I would just suck the whole time for years, you know, at least, I, I guess. Um,. I played it when it first came out, StarCraft 2. I, I, before that, even had Master or Grandmaster. Yeah, uh, I remember like, when it was just Diamond was the highest, yeah. Yeah, I got I got Diamond, which didn't mean anything, but... 
That wasn't like the worst pleb ever. But um, I just can't. I can't focus on the macro stuff. Like, just make. I, I get supply capped all the time, or whatever it was called, supply block. Yeah, sure. Supply cap. Yeah, I just. I, I'm like start thinking about something else for a second. You need Adderall or something for that shit. I don't know how you guys do it. I mean, if you're used to it, it's. Even if you're used to it, I. I, I don't know. I just. I mean, it's, it's... I don't know how people will competitively like queue into team-based ranked things. <laughs> I got, I got perma banned in League of Legends, so rep when I try to play that game. You played it for a while, though, right? Yeah, I did. I was I, for like the last like six months. I actually told my team several times, "Is like I'm only playing until I get banned, so that I can walk away." And I, at least I feel like I had to leave because I got banned for it. The um, trolling that goes on, when you try to stream as a large streamer, the trolling that goes on in team ranked games is like absolutely unbelievable. Like, like I told my stream like several times, like I'm glad I have a kid so that I wouldn't go on like some fucking murder spree. The last kid that um, in my promotion series, which is like you have to play this stupid series to get ranked up in league, some guy was, um, some guy queued into a game with me. He played like shit, like doing like obviously trolling things. Like he was buying items to build mana on characters that didn't use mana. Um, okay. Just stupid shit like that. Like obviously trolling. And I was like, whatever. We lost the game. I don't give a fuck. This is like my seventh promo or like my sixth promo series. Um, and then we ended up losing it because of him. And then on my next promo series, that same guy started messaging people in game, in my game, offering them skins to throw my game. So there's a champion in League that had just come out called like Tem Kelch or some bullshit. He could eat you and throw you into the enemy team. And the guy did that like three times. <laughs> and then I found out someone else on the team messaged me like, hey, I don't know who you are, but somebody's offering me skins to throw the game. I was like, oh, cool. So I found that kid and then I found his Facebook and then I posted it to him in the champ select and I told him I was going to find him and kill him. And I got IP banned from <laughs> for 150 years, rip. I do, I do shit like that too. Like I, I got I got prank called one time. I actually shouldn't even say it on stream. Damn. Oh, I remember. Oh shit, I remember this. This is what a lot of people thought you got banned for initially, right? Yeah, but I didn't actually. Yeah, I know. That. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Good times. Yeah. I was yeah. actually really scared when you got banned and people were linking to that because I do shit like that all the time. Yeah, if it's someone's like actually totally fucking with you, like fucking kill you. Like I, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> it. Yeah, like you're actually gonna go any way to fuck with me? Like, dog, like no. It's really off. hard for me to not say it yeah. for like a whole day, you know? Yeah. So fucking with you. Oh man, calm down, chat. I should play Street Fighter. Oh, I should play Type Racer with Destiny. Oh, do you type fast? Oh, yeah, but I think you're like the only person that I've ever heard of that types faster than me, so good job. I think I can oh, clock man. like one. It depends, right? You know, right? It depends on the test. Anywhere from 120 to 170. It, but it. But yeah, okay. One, the ones where you type the random words are really easy. The one with the sentences and like the hyphens and periods and apostrophes are much more difficult for the weird characters. Yeah. The quotation marks, are, those ones are really hard, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, there's some really easy ones. There's uh, like a quick brown fox jumps over lazy dog. It is a recent letter in the alphabet, so but yeah, sure. Yeah. But. There's the, I know a bloke who knows a bloke who knows a bloke. Probably seen that one. Um, no, I don't think so. You don't play that much, man. I know <laughs> my typing meta. I used to play text-based games when I was younger, so that's where I picked up my typing at. So I don't know all the uh, I don't know all the testing meta that exists today. I think I need more grass. I'm really lost right now, guys. I have no idea what I'm you doing. You guys making fun of his 120? He'll beat your ass. One shit. All right, load up, load up a type racer. The fans want it. My chat demands that. Go for it. All right, all right. What what keyboard do you type on, by the way? Because I, I feel like mine's not that great for typing, to be honest. I'm not. I'm not making an excuse before I play you. I just. Um, I have a, it's a Type Heaven by a company called Toper. They're like some exotic Japanese company that makes some weird switches, but I don't know. It's okay. I actually, Toper switches? Yeah, the Toper ones, yeah. Uh, I use Toper switches too, okay. Oh, well, fuck. What kind of keyboard do you have? It's Leopold FC660. It's also yeah, is, Was it one of the $300? Like 200 or something. Yeah, I think it might be the same company. I got the, um, they had like the introductory keyboard because I didn't want to buy like a full $300 Tober Switch keyboard. So I bought the, uh, like the $100 introductory one just to try it. You don't like them that much? Um, I, they're kind of hard to push down uh, the initial, uh, activation or whatever. Activation, yeah. Compared to, uh, I don't feel, I don't feel like it's effortless to type the way it was on my Browns. But I, it feels, it feels good. It feels like I'm fucking the keyboard or something. It feels kind of sexual. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> it, like, you don't get that feeling? I, I mean, like, like you're breaking hymens with every finger stroke, and that's why it takes yeah, so much yeah, exactly, actuate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I just, I guess. I don't know. I've never finger fucked ten virgins at the same time to, like, compare the <laughs> feeling. Um, I, I actually really... I don't, I actually personally, I don't give a fuck what keyboard it is. I don't think it really matters that much. I mean, like, it might feel, like, a little more comfortable, but, like, no one, some people have this idea that, like, if they type 60 words per minute, that if they get, like, the right keyboard, they're going to be, like, up to, like, 150 or some shit. Like, I don't know if it necessarily matters that much. I, yeah. I was getting really fed up with the uh, mechanical switches. Um, I really like blues because I like the noise and I like the feedback from activating the key. Um, I really didn't like any other switch besides blues, though. Browns, I don't know, without the feedback, like, what the fuck? It's just like a weak-ass blue. And then reds and blacks just felt like I was pushing my fingers into mushy goop. And then I think uh, Razer made some green switch that I tried that was just interesting. I don't know. Sorry, Chad. I'm, like, trying to guess my password. Hold on. You have a Typeracer account? Yeah, dude. Damn. I even have a prac. I have two type racer accounts. Oh, you have like a Smurf. <laughs> I got <a> Smurf. <laughs> I'm gonna play you on my Smurf. You like oh, hustle man. kids? Like, oh, dude, I only got 90, but you had 95. Let's try one more time. I want to bet money on this one. <laughs> like fucking 180. Unreal. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta verify my Smurf's email. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play you. Everyone's making fun of me, man. <laughs> Somebody said, Destiny, please call Recful out. Leopold is Korean, not fucking Japanese. Kill yourself, Recful. Okay, I should kill myself because I thought my keyboard was from somewhere. It's not. My bad. Uh, I didn't, yeah. There you go. Man, I really, I really should have researched that before I said it on a stream. Yeah, my, my see fault. now if you would have watched my video, you would know that anytime you say anything wrong ever, there's always going to be at least one person in your audience that's going to know to call you out on it. Yeah, it's scary. <clears throat> All right, I got my Smurf ready. All right, link in the team speak. We'll do it. Oh, well, let's, let's just queue up. We'll let's get each other. Oh, like random queue? There's going to yeah, be everybody from chat is going to be. Yeah, but it's it's it, if you're if you usually type over a hundred, it'll put you with people who type over hundred. There aren't that many. I mean, I don't have an account, so... Oh, you don't have an account? No, <laughs> no! Wait, you made fun of me, I spaced out, my bad. Uh, no, I, I thought that even as a guest, maybe it would know. Like, to rank you with good people, I guess it wouldn't. I guess it wouldn't. No, I uh, browse all of my websites with Ghostry and Adblock, and I do it from VPN, so it's not gonna okay, be information, okay. I mean, you know. Damn. No cookies. Alright, so... You link it up. How do you... Okay. Raise your, your friends. Okay, here I, we go. I, oh my god, okay. They're all gonna get in here, man. No, just link me. Alright, I linked it. Let's go. Alright. Oh, they can't see the you Okay. Okay, go easy on me. Hold on. Ready? Um, yeah, let me click join. Could be you. Alright. <laughs> oh shit, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna my desk ready. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the <laughs> roll around, desk. measure right, exactly. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, the typo sent you all the way back and you got a fucking backspace. Fuck this bullshit. Yeah, Fuck me. Yeah, I got a typo. I was going 170 and I, I got some really bad mistakes. I thought I was going to lose. I was scared. Fuck, we're getting random plebs in here, dude. Fuck, man, I got my, uh, I got my adrenaline pumping. That was crazy. Holy shit, it's the most skill-based game I play, so... I don't think no one's ever out-typed you in this shit, have they? Oh, fuck, I was playing by two. Alright, we should do one more. Hold on, I'm ready. We need to make a new room. They're all, they're all aging a room. Okay. In the, in the private room, people can cheat and shit, man. That's why I wanted to queue, like, regular. But I knew you wouldn't cheat, but I just knew people would come in and age our room with 300 words per minute. Oh, sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck, you have to make the room now. Oh, oh but okay. you're, you're a guest. I don't know if they'll let you. No, of course no. I can't, dog. Alright, alright. Oh no, Hafu is Hafu doing it too? Oh never mind. That was just the challenge test thing, but yeah. Okay, I linked it up.
you see the Lincoln team speak before everybody? Oh, sorry, them? I was reading something. Uh, oh shit! Wait, is it starting without me? Nope, it's waiting for you. Okay, I'm coming. Let's All go. Right. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh shit, you should be. <laughs> it's so scary when you typo because it sets you back like 20 words per minute. Yeah. yeah. Did we do it? Damn, that was close. Fuck, hold on. I have to do this fucking. Verify you're not cheating thing? Ah, oh, fucking fuck! <laughs> what? How did you beat me? How? What was the score? Wait, that wasn't you? No, it was me. But the fucking typing challenge box popped up, so I couldn't see the fucking results. Oh, okay, I got one fifty-one. You got one forty something. One forty something. What was it like? One forty-one yeah. or like one forty-eight? There's a big difference there. No, it's like one forty-four or, or either. Ah, I mean, uh, shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah. And this a bunch is of what happens. Room already, man. All right, one more. I'll make one more. Hold on. All right. Okay, everyone's saying it was 144. Thanks. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. <clears throat> Alright, I linked you. I'm ready when you are. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's a long one. The macro game. The control warrior oh, shit, of the, the uh, type racing. <clears throat> a really long one. I want, like, paragraphs. Here we go. No! Fuck! I fucking typoed. Fuck! I typoed a few times. What's your accuracy? Ninety-eight point six for me. Ninety-six point eight. What? Oh, ninety-eight point six was so natural to say. Wait, hello? Can you hear me? Sorry, I did fucking do this fucking bullshit again. All right, what? Um. Oh, ninety-eight point one. What were you at? Ninety-six point eight. Damn, you fucking shit, fucking piece of fuck. All right, good job. Well, good job. You're still the fastest typer on Twitch. Sweet. All right, now, what do you want to talk about next? I don't know. I didn't have like a fuck. It was like a podcast. Am I supposed to have topics? Oh, this is okay? a podcast, man. You're running. You're running the show. You're, you're carrying my stream. This is great. Um. Hmm. Fuck. I banned a lot of people early for the uh, picnic thing. Sorry, guys. Oh, you, are you another? Are you another G2A hater? <laughs> yeah, I don't like G2A. Sick. I, I'm gonna tell you some scummy shit they did to me. Okay, so Raynad. Okay, so I, I've been talking to Raynad since he, he first he had like 500 viewers on Twitch, you know? Yeah. So then when he he got big, he was like, "Yo, he wanted me to help him make a team together," and I, you know, we we thought of the you know, Tempo Storm shit, whatever. But I didn't really I didn't get anything out of it. And I was just like, "Sure, I'll join your team. I don't, I'm not on any team, whatever." And and then he, anyway, when he finally started getting big sponsors like G2A, he was like, "Yo, link this under your stream." You know, they'll give you a percent of all the sales, whatever, and, you know, they'll pay you monthly. And I was like, okay. So I linked it on your stream. For, I think I had it on there for, like, two months. Before some really weird shit started happening. So I, you get a percent of the sales in your gold mine on that site. And that site was so sketchy, I didn't even want to, like, go on it for long. But you get a percent of the sales in your gold mine. And I had, like, built up, like, $1,200 or something in the two months. In my gold mine, mm -hmm. so I go to try to like buy a game on their shit. I bought one game, and I was like, okay, fine, I got a game, they're cool. And then um, the next day, the total twelve hundred dollars is gone, and it says I bought twenty copies of Arma Three. I think, I think twenty copies. I, it was for sure Arma Three, and it was all all the money was spent on that. So if it was Arma Three, sixty bucks a game, and twenty copies is twelve hundred. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the, I think G Two A. I never get hacked on anything, man. Like, I think G2A actually logged on my shit and bought games on, you know, who the fuck would actually buy 20 copies of Armor 3? I think they pretended that someone hacked my shit and bought 20 copies of Armor 3 so they wouldn't have to give me the money. Nice. Or something. Nice. Pretty sure. Yeah. What, what do you, what do you know about that? Just everything about that company is shady. Um... It's just stupid. The, the company encourages people to pretty much... It's like money laundering, right? If you have a stolen credit card, your credit card's got $1,000 of, of 
equity, I don't know what you call it, like a thousand dollar balance on it you can charge up. How do you get that in actual cash? Well, a really easy way is to launder the money by buying games. You buy a bunch of games and then you sell them to G2A, you cash out five, six hundred dollars on whatever the balance is, and then it's a good deal. Since G2A doesn't do any verification on any of the shit they buy, you know, it's I, like my the easy like the smoking gun for G2A for me has always been like the fact that when you go to buy games from G2A, you can buy insurance on your keys. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Why would I need insurance that my key works? Like Yeah. Wait, how do they get the keys? Do you know? Yeah, they people sell them keys and then they sell other people the keys. It's part of the one of the ways they get it. Okay. They they don't maybe generate some of them? Uh no, I doubt. If, because if they were games that were capable of having, no way, I don't think so. No, I, I don't think uh, I could be wrong. I haven't part of somewhere in so long. I don't think key gens tend to work for like video games these days. I guess it's possible, but I think cracking them is a lot easier without using a key gen. Uh -huh. Someone in the chat said he just told you. Yeah, maybe I missed something. He said I uh, spaced out for a sec. Um. Key generators in 2016. I don't know, guys. I don't know how the fuck they have all those keys that uh, like under the retail price. I'm just confused. I mean, some in some ways they go to other countries to sell the keys for cheaper, and then they try to bring those keys to other regions. Like that's one way they do it. And then third-party retailers, people will come to them with a bunch of keys and sell them, and then they buy them, no questions asked. And then say so you need a conspiracy TV show. It's <laughs> well, I mean, with G2A, it's not really a conspiracy. Like, tons yeah. of other devs have come out in, like, opposition to these people. There was that whole shit show where they were reselling things from, like, a hum uh, Humble Bundle or whatever. Oh. Yeah, which was, like, a huge stupid thing. Like, one of the, um, we were talking about this on stream recently. One of the things that always bothered me is, um, I mean, I understand that, like, you don't have to 100% agree with every single thing you advertise on stream, but it kind of bothered me that some people will take sponsorships from companies like that. Huh? Blowback that maybe they should like I don't know it's pretty annoying that maybe they should like I don't know it's pretty annoying. Yeah. yeah. Do you know anything like about like Ding It? You ever heard of that site? No. Uh, some uh -huh. shady wannabe Twitch competitor that's just been involved in a lot of stupid shit. But um, the keys are like pre-made and they're just stored on a database and then that's it. You can't. There's not like an algorithm. The keys are like pre-made and they're just stored on a database and then that's it. You can't, there's not like an algorithm to just generate a key. Or well, I guess they would use one. I don't know, it's something my chat said. That might not be true. What other, what other uh, scummy companies are streamers sponsored by? So Ding It, and there's G2A and... I really didn't like a lot of what Azubu did, but there was a guy that... There was a guy that I knew um, in the StarCraft scene that was like one of the lead contacts um, that Azuba would use to recruit Koreans into their streaming platform. And it was like hella fucking like, um, I don't know, it just reeked of like sex slave trading. Like the Korean guys wouldn't really speak much English. They didn't really know what they were doing. They would sign these weird contracts with Azubu that would give us, that would give Azubu like all these rights to ownership of their stream and everything. Um, they wouldn't really get paid that much. And then Azubu would promote them and get money and they would get kind of fucked out of it because they had no fucking idea what was going on. And I knew, like, the guy that was responsible for getting a lot of StarCraft people to sign over to Azubu, so it was kind of sad. Because if you sign over to Azubu, you were pretty much committing career suicide if you weren't, like, a professional gamer, because you were never going to make it streaming on that platform, you know? Yeah. Does, doesn't Artosa stream on there now? Um, I think I, mean, I haven't seen for him a long since he left Twitch, but I, I, I've yeah. seen... I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think he he was. I, I don't know. I don't know if he'd never streamed that much, but yeah, I think he was. For a while, he was streaming Hearthstone. He was getting good viewer good viewership because he won the Invitational. Yeah, that yeah. one thing first in first beta. Yeah. Yeah, and then he like. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. So you so it's enjoyable, right? Well. Like I I, enough to keep you. I'm not happy. I'm not happy while I'm playing. I'm just like uh, I want. Want to press this play button again, but I don't know why. Kind of thing. Gotcha. gotcha. Do you have any oh. games like that? Um, yeah, I'm playing a game called Stardew Valley right now. That's kind of like that. Okay. Oh, talk about the MLG team scam. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. So, uh, a long time ago, I played MLGs for World of Warcraft. Uh, and all the teams got together, apparently, and decided not to pay any players in WoW salary, even though our our uh, eSport, I guess, I feel weird calling it an eSport, but our eSport was getting the most viewers of anything. We, we had like 100k viewers back then on Gotfrag or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. it, all these all these teams would just fuck us over. They, I mean, we needed it, them to get us plane tickets to the events, but they'd, be, they'd pay us zero salary. 
and uh, they take all our content. So I, all my YouTube videos are owned by Complexity now. And it, it's not, Complexity isn't a bad company in itself. Necessarily, I'm just, every, every all the companies did it back then. So there's Complexity, Fnatic, SK Gaming, EG. They just fucked all the WoW players over and uh, stole all our content. I mean, not stole our content, you know, they convinced us that they should have all our content in exchange for playing tickets to MLGs, which, sure. you know, we we're at the time. Seemed, them. Yeah. Huh? I was going to say at the time might have seemed like a good deal, but then you realize you got fucked on it pretty hard. At the time, I was at the wow. time. I wasn't really thinking about uh, money or uh, I was going to say I wasn't thinking about money or popularity, but I was thinking about like, hmm, I, I wanted to be the best at the game. So maybe that is popularity. I wanted to, you know, I just I just wanted to do well in the game. Yeah, thinking about the game more than the financial, right? Right. Yeah. I I, I wasn't sure if I would call that popularity. I wasn't thinking about my personal popularity. I was just thinking about uh, when I was younger, being the best at the game. Uh, sure. Yeah. Fuck, man! I just got consecrated. We're pissed. Do you play um, ranked in Hearthstone or Arena? Uh, ranked. Arena seems pretty boring to me. And uh, it's a new season, and I was on a trip, so if you tune in, I'm rank 8, but I'm not one of those oh, streamers. That was one of the most annoying fucking things about Hearthstone. The season reset is actually, like, really autistically quick. Do you think? Do you not agree? Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, you're spending half the month. Like, I guess it didn't bother me too much because I got to, like, decent parts, like, at least Legend, like, relatively quickly. But, like, I can't imagine, like, if you're a new player and you're legitimately, like, a rank 7 player, man, how shitty is that? For Because, like, half the month... Every single month, you're playing like legend people that are still climbing. Because <laughs> like, yeah. if you're a legend, you just don't play for like a week, and then you get on. You're gonna, it's gonna take you. What, I don't know. Let's take like half a day or a day or whatever to climb back up. Like, fuck you. Every single person that you run into on the way up there, you're gonna fucking smash. Like, oh, um, well, at the beginning when it resets, everyone you're playing against, even at rank 16, is legend two, the pre from the previous season. Because, oh, because the MMR holds over. It bumps you up a little bit. So instead of going to rank 25, you're at rank Oh, 16. no, no, yeah, I know it bumps you rank up oh. a little bit, but, like, it seemed like... Because there were a couple times where, like, I wouldn't play at the beginning of the month, and it seemed like when I'd start to climb again, and I'd come back and it'd be, like, rank 16, like, I would be playing people that, like, had never seen a Doctor Boom in their life, like, that were right, really, right, really right. fucking Okay, yeah, bad. If, you, yeah. if you didn't play the first day, yeah. yeah. As a streamer... No, yeah, like, the I, very I first day, the first it's day, okay, But, yeah, yeah, as a person who doesn't really... It's what? fucked up. What? For sure. Oh. What are they calling? Um, I don't know. They're gross. What are you guys talking about? chat? Play speedrunners with them. Do you play speedrunners? No, I'm not a speedrunner or anything. Oh, not not a not speedrunning a game. There's a game called speedrunners, and it's pretty fun. It's like Mario Kart, kinda. But uh, I've never heard about it. All right. Play, play guys. Play CS:GO. Oh man, that's that's too competitive and pro for me. I can't play that. <laughs> I'm like, I'd be I'd be like fucking silver, you know. But, sure. I, I wish I didn't waste my younger years playing like MMOs, and I, had I had I been playing an FPS the whole time or something that at least transferred over, the skills transferred over to the next game, it would have been awesome. If I was playing any shooter game, at least I would have some skill to show for what I did, but it's just, when I played World of Warcraft, none of the skills from World of Warcraft translate to any other game, I think. Yeah, it's... Yeah. it's it's kind of the same with MOBAs too, it's really frustrating because they become games of like information where even if you get really really good at that game nothing really carries over you know like a, fair, a few basic mechanical things but because so much of the burden is like knowledge and information like knowing like I, i'm sure even for like what well, every single like, champion does right yeah yeah what, and yeah and for like cooldown timings and you know like the range of a spell and how far you could stand with being safe and whatnot like those are things where like they don't really transfer to anything else you know i mean like if you're really good at a moba you could probably pick up a MOBA like moba like fairly quickly but i'm willing to bet that for something like fps the transfer is probably much easier or for like rts like for starcraft like if you're really good at an rts you can probably pick up another rts much quicker just because the mechanics are such a huge part of playing those games you know yeah yeah it's, it, since you played starcraft forever if another rts ever comes out which i don't think rts is Will be that pop just like MMOs are dying off. I don't think those kind of games will be popular for a long time. I don't actually but, believe uh, that. A lot of people make that argument, but honestly, I think it just comes down to the game developers and how well they do their shit. A lot of people make the argument that um, 
you know, like, oh, well, you know, RTS is just going out of style, MMORPGs are just going out of style. And I would have bought that, um, I think, three years ago, um, back when people were saying that MOBAs were going to be the only game that people played because MOBAs were huge. Dota 2 was getting huge. League was already fucking enormous. And, oh, well, I guess it's just MOBAs are the only game that people want to play. And then CSGO, due to awesome support from Valve, um, actually managed to make a comeback and become fucking huge, right? And it's now either the second or third most watched esports. Right, I don't know yeah. if I ever to go to two. Um, so so with that, RTS, though, it's a pretty lonely game. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I don't yeah, know I know there are arguments against it, but I'm just saying that, like, after CSGO came back, it made me wonder more, like, well, maybe it's not actually genre-restricted. Maybe it has more to do with dev support, because there is, Blizzard has a lot of problems supporting their games, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, have you seen, like, how they're trying to push uh, Hero so hard? It's a little bit awkward, but... Yeah, no one likes it. No, that's one way of putting it. Maybe, yeah. Overwatch might actually do well. But yeah, that's uh, possible. possible. It's not that fun for me. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. I think that's like you have to like that kind of game. Did, did you ever like Team Fortress? Never played it, so... Uh, yeah, it's like... The, I, I, there's like a class of game, like team... Uh, class-based shooters or whatever that right, right. people enjoy, yeah. I, I feel like as... I've tried way less games than anyone else because the whole time I was playing WoW, I didn't touch another game. So people ask me, like, have you ever played Team Fortress or whatever? I just haven't tried anything. I, I tried StarCraft because... Maybe because it was a Blizzard game and I was playing a Blizzard game, but... I tried very few games. Sad. I played old, really old MMOs, though. I don't know uh, if you know them. Like Dark Age of Camelot and Astron's Call and EverQuest, shit like that. I mean, I've heard of EverQuest. I think everyone has, but... The only MMO I ever played was fucking RuneScape in grade school, so... Right, okay. And did you just started StarCraft with StarCraft 1? Yeah, Bruva. Yeah. Just for fun. Okay. I remember I had one friend, I was like 10 years old, he was really good at StarCraft 1, and uh, he would beat us 1 versus 3, like me and my other two friends, when we came over and we'd all land. And it was fun. It, it was cool that, he, that it was possible. I played Age of Empires 2 for a while, for like a year, and I remember MSN Gaming Zone had a rank system, and I was I was 2k or something, which wasn't that high, but it was kind of high. Nice. So I, you know, I, I play those a little bit. I can... But, uh, I'm a noob. Life's hard, man. Just a noob playing a card game. Did you ever any, play any uh, other card games growing up? I touched. I mean, I played. I touched the Pokemon card game growing up. You probably did too. Hell yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. yeah. And uh, I touched Magic for like a month, maybe. But I didn't have anyone to play with. I didn't have any friends. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then now that we stream, we don't need friends, right? We've got chat. Yeah. What's up, chat? What's up, chat? Talk about Kitty Plays Games. Uh, have you watched Kitty Plays Games? No. What is she, another booby streamer? Oh, she's the biggest booby streamer, man. Is she? Yeah. Well, like, how many so, viewers does she got? I, I don't know if it's about the viewers. She makes a lot of money. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, when you got those kinds of fans, you're going to. Yeah. I watched a stream of her on New Year's. Okay, I was. I watched a stream of her on New Year's. She made like ten thousand dollars. Damn. Yeah, and um. Was she fundraising she, for a specific thing, or that's just how much happened to be donated that day? No, she was giving away like a, one skin in CS:GO to the top donator, which is kind of like, it's kind of like running an eBay auction, except oh, for like you a get hat. Every single bidder's money. Oh sure sure oh oh okay, so whoever <laughs> donated okay that's quite the memes all right. Pretty good huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I think the skin was like 500 bucks, but <laughs> she ended up making 10 grand. Nice. Yeah. What else happened? How many oh, viewers uh, does she get normally? Just curious. She gets like 1,500, I think. Okay. And sometimes she, she'll do a six hour stream and it's only full screen or the screen that gives away skins in CSGO. Oh, of course. The whole so time? Like Phantom Lord kind of? Yeah. I haven't watched it, but probably. Yeah. And then, uh, I'll take your word for it. And then I'll complain to Twitch that, you know, this is less gaming content than what I was doing when I was doing whatever the fuck I was doing. Like, I, I played 14 hours in a row of a game, and then for one hour I'd watch YouTube videos. I was like, look, I have, you know, 14 out of 15 of the time I spent uh, was fucking... Oh, that was awesome. That RNG. Okay. 14 out of 15 of the hours I spent were playing games, and, and this stream, zero out of six hours spent were playing games, right? 
But then they, they didn't they didn't go for my argument there, which is weird. Yeah, that's one of the um, I'm I'm actually one of the few people that are on Twitch. I usually defend the booby streamers because I I mean I th for me it's all marketing, um, and I don't necessarily have a huge problem with it. And that's a whole other different argument I go into. But that on the on the con side of the booby streamers, that is something that irritates me. Like, um, we're all get a message where it's like, hey, like we got reports that you um, were watching a YouTube video and you weren't playing enough games or whatever, and it's like, really, dog? Like, I, I mean, like. If that's like what you want to do, that's cool. But there are booby streamers that literally have like three fourths of webcam the entire time that do fuck all on their stream like all day long, and you're gonna come at me for that? I mean, yeah, they told me okay. if, you're, if I was in full screen webcam and I just had a little thing in the corner that had the game, mm -hmm. then it would have been fine. Yeah, but like, like, I, it seems I, kind I of stupid. And I wasn't even in full screen webcam. I was just I had a tiny webcam and I was just talking to chat for an hour, not playing a game. You know, after 14 hours of playing a game, and I got reported, and. uh... They were like, okay, next time you do this, you're banned. It's hard life. Uh, let, let me do it right now, chat. Here's my full cam. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, man, my hair right does look kind of bad. Reports are coming in. You know that when All you right. joke about reports like that, like, people will actually just report you. Oh, no, I can't get reported because I got gameplay. Look. Oh, okay, never mind. Good job. <laughs> chat, check it out, too. I'm owning. Oh. What's up, chat? Look at my gameplay, man. Holy shit. All right. So here I'm going to go with the, uh, not do anything for the next minute and a half because I have that long till the rope comes. Uh, it doesn't look dumb. This doesn't look dumb? Okay. I think this is what Twitch intended when they made the site. Go like this. Nice job. Is that like your dedicated like cam girl scene that you have like on OBS or? Um, you didn't have that V-neck going on with this thing. I don't know. Well. Uh, I just realized that was an holding push of talks. You didn't hear what I was saying. Nope, no idea. Fuck. I was saying the return on investment on fake boobs is amazing. Oh. Yeah, if you stream. I'm gonna switch it right now so it's not push to talk. Where is it? Voice activation detection. Okay, I turn off push the talk. Can you hear yourself? Uh, no. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, a little bit, yeah, but it's okay. It's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. Hold on. Can you hear yourself now? Testing. Testing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck, man. Somebody wants me to ask you about your Twitter stocks. You invest a lot. Yeah, I bought Twitter recently. It was down to fourteen fifty a share or something. It's the lowest it's ever been, I think. And it was at like nine billion market cap. I think Twitter, in the long run, is worth way more than nine billion. Looking at other, I mean, if you, Facebook's three hundred billion, and I know Twitter's nowhere near as big as Facebook, but it's not one thirtieth. It'll eventually be, I would say, a, I, I mean, even if it just got to one tenth of Facebook, it would still be three times the value I bought it at. So, holy like shit, enough. that's awesome. What? what? What you just said, it's cool. Oh, come on, man. What? It's good. I have the same, like, my, my fundamental view is kind of, like, the same. Um, I, I don't do much trading. I know, like, enough to know that I know nothing about it. Um, normally, I just buy, like, a fucking ETFs from Vanguard. 
Um, but I set okay. aside a little bit of money and I wanted to like do like play investing because I'd never done it before. Um, and so I just started looking up. Usually I'll only look into a company that I like know a decent bit about because I'm not going to go fucking short some bullshit or do crazy shit. Right. Um, it's, it's nice that we actually know and use Twitter. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, looking at Twitter, like tr Twitter is integral to a lot of different arenas. Like politics uses Twitter a lot. Sports reporting uses Twitter a lot. It seems like a very integral pl platform. Like if Twitter were to disappear, nothing is replacing it. Right. So it seems invaluable to a lot of different sectors. Um, exactly. And the, uh, yeah, the evaluation right now does seem to be pretty low. And I figured I bought, um, I think I actually bought in at 19 a share like two or three months ago, planning to go really long on it, like over the course of years, thinking that, I mean, the price has to trend upwards eventually. I know that they're having a hiccup right now, but it doesn't seem like Twitter could ever just like crash out and die. I thought you were trolling me when you said, holy shit, that's awesome. And no, no, it's not, no, it's not because I said all these same things on stream. And so every day you get the fucking retards that will log in like, look at this stock today. It went down 20 cents. I did it. And it's like, dog, I'm long as fuck on this. Like, dude, like to ask me in six months, but yeah, but now that exactly. yeah. no, they do that to me too, man. Yeah. Well, that, like, yeah, because oh, the stock you talked about went down five percent. Yeah, did I'm you like, look at it yesterday? Five years. Yeah, like, yeah. What up. the fuck? Come on, dude. <clears throat> you think I'm fucking day trading this shit? Is... Everyone, you guys, all in chat thought he was trolling me too, huh? Yeah, he did. They just Sorry, rolled out the um, Sorry, they just rolled out that algorithmic timeline, but they did it on I think a Saturday, like yesterday. So it'll be really interesting, I guess, on Monday to see what the response to that because the stock has been going up. The way it works though is uh, you pull it up on your phone and you see it in that order, and then you if you scroll down you see it in your normal uh, reverse chronological, right? Um, I don't know. I turned it off. I hate algorithmic feed, but it's something that a lot of people have been asking for. So I'm just curious. I'm just curious if it'll be reflected, like how that'll be reflected in the stock price on uh, opening on Monday. If it's going to be like, a, if there's going to be like a huge, uh, you know, either rise or fall in the price just because of that, because that's like been a big thing like coming. Yeah, I think I think that they already talked about it so much though that it's it's already factored into the stock price. Oh, that's they're, they're, talk, yeah, they're talking really. about it like uh, at the earnings report. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yo, why do y'all love Crip so much? And do you guys know, do you know that Crip, Hearthstone streamer, plays Arena every day and gets like 30k viewers? Yeah, I know. Chilling? Yeah, Crip is a chill dude. No, do you not like him? He's he's very chill, but it, it, uh, it's a big number, man. How does how does he get 30k viewers every day? Um, I think that Hearthstone, the fact that he is in the Hearthstone arena helps because Hearthstone has a huge audience, and I think the fact that he does really consistent, really high level, really analytical, well broken down content over a long period of time, I think really helps. I think Crip built himself like a really strong, a really powerful brand. He streams at like the same fucking time, like every, every single night. day. Yeah, yeah, he's got he his girlfriend every day. Yeah, he's got his girlfriend that churns out videos for him on that YouTube every single day, high quality videos explaining, you know, like good analysis and everything. Like, I think Crip is a yeah. really smart dude. I, I think that he earned everything that he did. I think he's got it. I think yeah, he's, he's, really well. he is a smart dude. I, I used to raid with him in WoW, like, fucking, I guess it's like seven years ago. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Listening back cool. to the, uh, yeah. back when, uh, uh, not to meme too much, but back when Crip had the uh, passion, um, back listening to him theory crafting, uh, Diablo 3, before it actually launched, was really funny. Because him and his friends had, like, fucking spreadsheets on spreadsheets of every fucking consumer. And then he got the first, of... he got the first fucking hardcore. Hardcore, yeah. Yeah. Diablo, right? They were really good too. They had like every fucking piece of information about that game, like on spreadsheets and all conceivable permutations of like every possible thing that Blizzard could do. Like, yeah, it was really funny. He had like a huge long talk with Athene because um, they were going to be competing for World First, uh, I guess. Uh, but then Athene, I guess, ended up not doing hardcore or something. And going listening to him talk about that when he was like super high on the passion for that shit was pretty funny. A lot of his, uh, I get, or not a lot, but some of his core fans get kind of mad now because he's with uh, Casual Stone and he doesn't think that that's worthy of yeah. his analytical ability and whatnot. But happens man we get old we get casual it's i realize why it happens now though i, I thought i would never get that way and then it, this is why it happened to me i was really hardcore in a game and then as soon as I, that game died uh i was like okay i'm gonna go be hardcore at some other game but i was like oh wait every game i look at someone's played for five fucking years already and just to, i'm just playing catch up for so long it's yeah boring as fuck. depending on the kind of game if, especially if there's a lot of info rooted in mechanics, it could be really hard. Like, if you really want to catch up to somebody that's a professional in a game and there's any mechanics involved, you're looking at 12 hours a day for, like, 6 to 12 months minimum to be of a decent level. And then, yeah. Yeah. You probably had that with League, right? Because you came in late, or did you come in... Oh, yeah, no, I came in pretty late. Rip. I got fucked pretty hard. I mean, I got, like, okay at it, but the team aspect and the trolling... Um, was way too fucking hard for me. I couldn't deal with it. It's too many people I needed to kill. Mm. 
I'm, I'm trying to read you guys chat. Play Black Desert. I don't want to play another MMO, really. Um, I mean, I just play Blade and Soul. Who am I talking to? It's Destiny. He's another guy who's been streaming forever. And we both somehow never talked to each other one time. So. He didn't even know who I was, man. He was like saying, now recful has gone and used this G gaming for good thing. And he's like, oh, I mean Reina. <laughs> Do you follow political shit at all, or...? No, I don't. Just because... Um... You live in the U.S., right? You're not Canadian, are you? Yeah, I live in the U.S. Okay. But, um... I don't feel... Uh, it's, it sounds really stupid to say this. I, I, I just prefer to be ignorant right now. Because... I don't feel like I have enough time. Yeah, no, that's to, uh... totally fair. As someone that follows it a lot, I completely agree. If I could go back yeah. in time, I don't know if I would waste my time at all. Yeah, I mean, and I don't. Even though I I can talk to a bunch of people on Twitch and affect their opinions, I still don't think I'd really affect anything. But, but you know. did you do you um do you go to Wall Street Bets at all? The subreddit. I uh. <laughs> I know you read Reddit a lot because I watch your videos, but I don't read Reddit either. You don't, oh, not at all. Okay. Uh, should I read Reddit? Um, I don't know. If you want to, fuck. I'm not gonna fucking force you to do it. There's um, there's a subreddit called Wall Street Bets, and it's just kind of like a really meme-y, uh, investor humor kind of shit. Um, and sometimes the people on there just post some of the crazy shit they do. Um, you're familiar with like options trading and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah some some kid in um, I think this kid was fucking 17. Um, he yellowed his whole portfolio. He had like $900 left in his trading account, and he yellowed his whole portfolio um, from $900 four times up to like 55 grand. And um, he cashed it out. He was posting the subreddit that like he was so excited his mom was gonna take him out to get something to eat afterwards because he's only 17. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, uh, on the other side of things, it's, it sucks to hear the outlier stories of shit like that because it tricks people into thinking they want to do some stupid yellow shit. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. Same with gambling. It's, yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's it's still interesting. Right have you ever do you, have you ever had a gambling sponsor on stream? Um, I haven't had a real sponsor, but I've had like I've, I've like refer friend for Bavada, but anyone can get a refer friend link. Oh, okay. You know Bavada? Yeah, 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 unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, because it used to be Poker Stars and Full Tilt, but now it's Bavada. Yeah. I I like to play um, mostly PLO. Oh, but, um, okay. I, Omaha is way too complicated for me. I barely know Hold'em. Really? Yeah. It's it a hard like game. It's too complicated for you. Omaha is a hard fucking Matthew game. Dude? It's a hard game, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Hold'em's hard too, it's just hard in a different way. It's mostly about bluffing, you know? Omaha is uh, a lot about <laughs> thinking about your equity. Oh, shit. Do you want to hear a really funny poker story? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how much you follow my shit. You might have even heard about this. Um... So I'm friends with a guy named Dennis, okay? He runs Take TV. Have you ever heard of it? Yep, yep. Okay, cool. They do tournaments and shit um, in Germany. And he invites me to play like a celebrity fucking poker tournament in um, Leipzig where DreamHack is going on, and which is awesome. I've never actually played, like I played a little bit online. I grinded barely a little bit, um, like six or seven years ago, I think. Um, but I figured, oh, cool. Like I know just enough. Like it'll be fun playing with other celebrities. It'll definitely be fun. And Elki's going to be playing there too. Um, who, you, uh, do you know Elki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super pro and fun, fun guy, cool dude. Um, and then a bunch of other people. And I'm personally gonna be the Rotterdam and shit. Um, so, I um, everything gets set up. This is the first time I've ever played live, and it's like a real ass fucking event. We got poker stars table set up. They've got like the um, you've got to you know uh, put both your cards over the sensor so that people in the stream and shit can see it. The first fucking hand. The first hand I get dealt, um, oh god, I don't remember it exactly, and I'm sure every single person in my chat knows exactly, but I got a decent hand the first hand I was dealt. It was like, it was like king, queen suited or something, and I was under, I think I was under the gun plus one, I think, and I had, okay. um, or, or I might have been under the gun. King, queen suited, I think I open, um, and then it's folded around into uh, Wicked. Wicked ends up calling the bet, uh, do you know who Wicked is? No, but I think he's like a league streamer or something. But Wicked ends up calling the bet. Um, flop comes down, and it was like three rags, and 
I um I sleep at the flop and then he ends up re-raising me. He either re-raises me or he calls and then he raises on the turn or some shit. And I had no idea like how anybody at this place played. And so I didn't know if he was just like he was like. Did super... you see what the flop was? Um, it was just three rags. There were no draws or anything. Oh, yeah, three rags. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, I, yeah. I had two two strong overs uh, suited. Um, no flush or anything aboard. But yeah, so I say about the flop. He um, he either re raised me or he raised on the turn or whatever, and I ended up folding and whatever. So the next hand comes and I get pocket fours. I think I'm in the big blind in this hand. The next hand comes, second hand of the entire fucking thing. Um, the tournament okay. structure for this is really deep. We are super deep. I think we get like 500 big blinds. Very, very deep. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so the second hand comes and it's pocket fours. And um, <laughs> the fucking... Um, it, it's, I, it's either open... I'm gonna guess that you're gonna get set over set, but keep going. Oh, God. The flop fucking comes... Um, I don't think any big happen, any no big action pre-flop. Um, the flop comes. There's like three or four of us to the flop, and it's fucking. Um, it's like deuce three four with like okay. two diamonds mm -hmm. on the flop, and I've got fucking pocket fours, and I'm fucking holy shit, like pretty much ready to go fucking broke with this hand, I think. Um, but I, but I want to go really aggressive early on because I don't want anybody drawing right. So I think I do like I I, I might have even donk, but or I pot size better or something. And then wicked the same guy from before. Um, fucking re-raises me and I'm like no fucking way did this guy flop something against me twice in a row so I like I end up like mind fucking myself like thinking like did he really fucking like there's no way and like all I can think of is like if I was at home like I would be in with this hand a million times and I would never second guess it because why would I fucking say if I flop fucking right. top set I'm not gonna fucking flop what I was he could fucking flop the straight like what am I thinking like he could have even two if you flop the straight you still have like yeah. 36% yeah, 30, right? yeah 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 it's like 35 65 yeah close um but I figure, um, yeah, and there's a lot of hands that I figure he'd play the same way. Like, if he's got aces, kings, maybe he'd be really aggressive. If he has, um, like, four, five, or two pair, like, he would play it maybe the same way. So I'm like, whatever, dude. So we'll end up, like, I, it must have gotten to, like, a fucking seven bet fight by the river. And we finally flip our fucking hand. And he fucking flopped the straight on my set. I couldn't believe it. He turned over five, six. Yeah. And I was done. The second fucking hand in the country. And I was fucking out. Oh, my God. I wanted to fucking kill myself. I couldn't even believe it. And he flew it. all the way there. Yeah, I couldn't even fucking believe it. Holy shit. <clears throat> yeah, but um, you said there wasn't, maybe it wasn't a raise preflop, and if you went into that hand like nine handed. No, 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 it wasn't nine handed. It was like, there might have been a small, but it was like three, it was either, th I think it was three handed preflop, or three handed oh, okay, preflop, okay. or maybe four handed. Yeah, if it would have been like nine handed, I would have been a lot Easier more to get away from, yeah. maybe, yeah. Although, even at that point, it still would have been pretty hard, but um, yeah, nine handed, it would have been. I think there was a preflop raise, because I, cause I was a little disappointed that he had a five six, but five six isn't a horrible hand. I think it was five six or whatever, so. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty. It's quite the memes. I I actually just came back from a poker tournament in uh, London, and I got invited by this this company. They were like, "Yo, we'll fly you out. You know, get your hotel and everything." And it was just one table thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, "Okay, sure, sounds fun." And um, I get there, and um, I feel really confident because a lot of people at the table hadn't even played poker before. They're just like streamers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's one guy who's a pro and he's won five million playing tourneys or something. So I'm like kind of watching out for him. Whatever. Uh, you know, I'm just playing normally. And every time I, I try anything fancy, it's working out. Like I four bet some guy. I was like, hey, you know, I folded. I'm like, okay, that made me feel confident. Shit. And then um, the second guy to get knocked out. Okay, the first guy to get knocked out was someone who hasn't played. But the second guy to get knocked out was actually the pro who's played for like one five million attorneys. Oh, sure. experience. Yeah. And then. Um, I was the next person to get knocked out, but with real hands, you know, if I had an, I had a top pair and a flush draw, and I was like, okay, fuck it, and then uh, this girl flopped it straight on me, and she ended up winning the whole thing. She flopped it straight on me with three five off. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> sucks, man. Um, yeah, we saw a um, we saw a clip of you on that because it was on a live stream fails. <laughs> Uh, the, something live stream fails. Well, there was uh, when that chick brought up the thing about the grape kiss or whatever. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, what'd yeah. you say? I don't remember, I just, somebody, where she brought up that awkward thing and it was kind of strange and then, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even know that, man. See, I don't, that, that's why I don't like to, uh, I'm always on these, like, fail compilation videos and I don't, it makes yeah. me feel really awkward. And I don't, well, I mean, when you've done any amount of, I mean, how long, how much of our lives have been on the internet, like, there's bound to be, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah.
I had some other uh, live stream fail thing or like cringe comp. I was in a cringe compilation. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, we watch uh, a lot of that on friend's house. Yeah, I've like, seen pretty much everything. You've seen that too? <laughs> I saw you uh, when you did the dumping your girlfriend on stream or whatever. Yep. We. Oh yeah. Damn. Yeah, that one was a bad one. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> You've seen a lot of shit. Yeah, we we watch other shit. I know I gotta keep up on my. Uh, every time I get new into a community, I want to like look up on other drama. So I looked up all like the Raynad, Leah, or Leia shit. And yeah, then, like, yeah. The fights and shit. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. Gotta get caught up. It's like the most important part of a community, right? Exactly. God damn it. I wish that the breakup thing, I got the time. I just, people thought I was doing it for viewers or something. But at the time, I just didn't give a fuck. I was really angry, you know? Yeah, sure. But I didn't. It would have been way better if that wasn't on stream and forever on the internet. <laughs> forever, yeah. Reference. Yeah. Sex. Do you have any uh, cringy shit on the internet? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I yeah. heard you got catfished one time, but I didn't find the video. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. That was actually, like, really fucked up. Like, it wasn't even that meme -y. It was just, like, super fucked up. I don't remember if I perm banned the guy from my chat or not, but... Somebody um, geolocated, like, a Tinder account to my, um... They geolocated a Tinder account to my... Um... To, to my uh, area code, right, where I live. And, um, they basically like, got his sister to talk to me on the phone to, like, convince me to, like, play another game against her. It was kind of weird. We, like, went back and forth texting for, like, two or three days. Like, it was a little bit strange, but, yeah. Right. And, like, what did he get out of you? I, just to get me to play a game, I guess, and just to get a lols, like, I don't know. Oh, kinda... nothing else? Not, no, not really. I didn't get, like, there well, were no nudes. Yeah, they, they got, he, something about dick pics, maybe that's different. Yeah, that's a, that was a different situation. I've been staring for a long time. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, do you get those people that like occasionally will message you on Reddit and they like pretend to be like somebody to get like nude pics and shit of you? No, but I, I'm not on Reddit. That's what I was saying. Oh shit, or not Reddit, but I guess any form of social media, Twitter, or whatever. I guess I, I, mean, I guess it happens a lot on Reddit. Not really. I don't know, man. I, I expected it would happen more often, but I I actually have such. Even if they did, I would never. I have such a small percent of girl viewers in my chat. It's insane. I think after that gr that breakup with that girl, <laughs> yeah. people guys are always like, "Yeah, man, I used to watch you." They tweet me shit like this. I used to watch you, but my girlfriend won't let me because she hates you. <laughs> Just girls are on a crusade against me, so I don't have any girl viewers. Nice. I'll never believe someone's really a girl. Are any girls in the chat? ASL. ASL. Can I not injure these? Are you serious? <laughs> There's a picture of you hover handing Hafu. That's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and Hafu are fairly close friends, I think you could say. Uh, apparently, I had some cringy thing with her one time, but I don't remember. I was in Vegas. And she said that I, I, uh, I hit on her or something. This is like five years ago. But I, I, I didn't know that. I, didn't, I really didn't know that I did. She believes me now that I really didn't know. Oh, what an mm -hmm. asshole. Yeah. That's hard. Or you were. God damn it. Thirteen F U K. Nice. Oh, the rapeful thing. Yeah, that just happened now. Yeah, but he's already heard of that, I guess. The what thing? The rapeful. Oh yeah, 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 that thing. All, I mean, all I did was make out with some girl at an event, but uh, she said I'm rapeful. Uh, I'm sorry. Talk about hotel sub sound fail and uh, ask about XJ9. What's XJ9? Um, he was just some crazy psychopathic or sociopathic kid. Um, he, there's like too much. Like t this is like a whole like anthology of him being a fucked up person. I've never heard of him before. He's just done. He had a girlfriend, online girlfriend, and she played Lee Sin, and he told her not to. So he leaked nudes of her account and then begged her to talk to him. And he was just like a crazy, crazy person. Like he made fun of like a rioter. He's been perma banned from League like 15 different times. Um, yeah, there's like you can just start googling and find like a plethora of information about that guy. Yeah, I have like, I guess a lot of people bring me up because I have a, like a 10 hour video of me talking to him, just like trying to figure out like how his mind works. It was pretty, it's pretty interesting how crazy he was. I saw some video of you talking to a little DDoS or kid, that's, that's different, I guess. Oh, that was years and years and years ago. Fun fact, nothing ever happened to that guy, in case you were worried. Don't worry. Nothing ever happens to anyone, man. Yeah, not for a DDoS thing or internet crimes, no one gives a fuck. 
The dankest dungeon. Press F to pay respect to my puppers. Oh, he had a stroke today and didn't dude. make it. Thanks for keeping it real, Destiny. Yeah, we, we don't care, we don't care. Yeah, we're chilling. Are you really playing Paladin? Is that what you're playing ranked? I, I usually... Okay, recently I just started, fuck it, I'm gonna play Paladin and not think at all and just hit face. But I used to play, like, some slightly harder decks. Not really. Like, but, what does slightly harder mean? I mean, I, I play Freeze Mage, I play... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Even Zoo, it's a lot harder than Pally because you're buffing your minions all the time and trading. Yeah, I, I guess. No? <laughs> I don't know, I'm salty. I, I don't think Zoo is that hard. It's not, but I'm, I mean... Oh yeah, I guess. I, I played like a little bit of, for my for my quote-unquote hard deck to play, um, I played Freeze Mage, so... I would say that, I would say that Freeze Mage was considerably harder than Zoo, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. <gasps> Wait. Do you not get an elevator shaft for this mine? Are you serious? No way. Can you really not go back? Oh no, you'd have to go 25 levels in a single thing? Wow. Are you serious? Were you ever on the Daisy hype train? Did you ever play that game? Daisy? No. I played H1Z1 for a tiny bit. The survival mode or the battle royale? I started with the survival mode, but then, um, I don't feel like it's a great stream game. Maybe. You don't think so? I don't think so. I mean. I feel like anything with proximity voice can be like a really great stream game if you get lucky with the interactions. Yeah, maybe I wasn't getting lucky with interactions. I was, I, I had more situations where I'd run down the road for like an hour straight and not see anyone. Oh, sure. But, yeah. but I, uh, I was playing it when it first came out. Or maybe it was an alpha or something actually. The games nowadays just stay in alpha forever, so I don't know when they're actually out. You know, yeah. they just, it's, it seems like they could just they could just say, oh, we're in alpha still. You, you found a bug? Oh, we're in alpha, you know. Some of that shit has gotten a little bit ridiculous. Did you see what H1Z1 did recently? Uh, they switched their, split their game into two games, right? Yeah, holy yeah, shit. Holy shit. <laughs> that double dip. And they're still in alpha. They're still in alpha? Oh, okay. Yeah, I met the depths for the game, and they're nice, and I, I get it that they put... I mean, I get it. You can just put your game in alpha forever at any time. It, people don't expect as much, so it makes sense, right? I don't know. Yeah, but I don't. I feel like that's not going to be sustainable forever. I feel like at some point people are going to be like, all right, we're done with alpha, supporting alpha shit. Like, no, we're not doing this anymore. Or at least I hope, but who the fuck knows? Maybe. People support dumb shit for a long fucking time. What are you guys linking? A bot failure. That's funny. Oh, I lost. Call Crip and Raynad. What do you do? So what, what do you think of Raynad? Um, he's cool. He's a friend of mine. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, maybe he just wants to make a bunch of money doing this G4G thing. And oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I wasn't even supposed to do that. I really, um, I really like Raynad. I thought he was a really cool dude. Uh, most people in this industry are completely full of shit. Don't seem very smart. Um, well, the, well, the overwhelming amount. But Raynard seems like a really intelligent dude. Oh yeah, that's why when I saw him on that uh, that he's starting that gaming for good thing, I tweeted at him not to do it. Uh, I, I don't think he gives a fuck what I say, but uh, rip. He probably gives a, a, a little bit of a fuck. I don't know, man. He's got that G two A sponsor for his team. Oh wait, no, he doesn't. Wait, does, does do they? Does Tempo? They do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. yeah does. Cloud Nine does too, right? How many fucking G two A sponsors like everybody? Holy shit. Yeah, it just. They'll throw so much money that even the semi-legit... It's hard to say, no. to say no. Take it, yeah. Yeah. Brainhead wants to call us? Oh, really? I doubt it. What, or does he? I don't know. If it's like random retards in chat <laughs> saying it. Yeah, you never know. What's that they... Sp Fucking, they sponsor the LCS, G2A. Is that true? I, I don't believe so. I seriously doubt it. I'm not sure though. I doubt it though. Okay, I'm saying no, no. Got that 20 second delayed. Uh... Oh, they sponsor IEM. Oh, okay. 
Thanks, Navi OOT. LCS ban G2. Oh, so they used to work with them? I, I feel like Riot and G2A would never have worked together. Why? Riot does everything on their own. Oh, Riot bans G2A, apparently. Yeah. Didn't I have a bunch apparently of... Apparently the same dude who's donated big money to set up up and he's donated in out under the new uh, platform oh, thing. Wow, that's pretty uh, convenient. That MMN <laughs> whatever dude or whatever. I'm gonna check it out. Check out Rainout's stream. Well, damn, maybe it is uh, worth to hop over. Yeah, man. Make 20 grand in one stream. Yeah. At the same time, I guess we don't know anything about these Twitch Alerts people. Do you know Twitch Alerts? Um, no, I mean, they seem like an upstanding group of dudes. I mean, they provide a service and then you can use their service and that's it. I don't have any reason to mistrust them, I don't think. I mean, it seems like everything they've done so far has been on the up and up. Yeah. Uh, something that it annoyed me for a while how they took the one percent. Yeah. That, yeah. For on on each, I, I was fine with them taking one percent, but how they took it on each uh, individual transaction and it spammed my shit. Oh, that was really annoying. And every time you'd open your PayPal, there's like a million one every for every other transaction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was pretty annoying. <clears throat> Isn't that shady though that they started taking money without any notice? No, they put out a lot of notice to let people know that they were going to start doing it. It wasn't just out of nowhere. So do you like, I'm sorry, because I'm really ignorant of the pro scene. Do you like try to go to tournaments and compete at shit or? Um, sometimes. I went to the tournament you were just talking about, Tick TV, whatever. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I went to that for Hearthstone. Oh, gotcha. But, um, I don't know. It's, it's not that exciting for me. It's like, oh, there are 32 people in this tournament. Okay, I have one out of 32 to win. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. Gotcha. gotcha. What do you, um... But, but like when you go to a tournament like that, what do you do for decks? Like do you just play what you normally play on ladder or do you Yeah, pretty much. I I just showed up and I just picked oh man, I don't even remember what I I was just like like regular fucking druid deck and Tempo Mage was decent at the time, I had a Tempo Mage. And everyone had Secret Pally, but it was it got banned every time. So I had Secret Pally in there and I think I had Warrior, Control Warrior. Gotcha. And I actually got I got pretty far. There were thirty two people. And I got out of the group stage to the top eight thing. Nice, nice. But uh, and I had to beat some people who won a bunch of tournaments on the way, because uh, everyone's, I guess, everyone's won tournaments at this point, though. But... but um, yeah, I really, I really don't play this game to be competitive and do tournaments. I want to play a game to be competitive and do tournaments. That's why I'm, I was starting with the Street Fighter thing, but I know I'm like I'm 26 and I've never played a Street Fighter since Super Nintendo, and I'm probably not actually going to be any good, you know? You ever play any other fighting games? I played Super Smash a little as a kid. Oh, okay. Oh. But not like in the scene or anything? Nah. I'm going to play. I guess... I just sit here streaming every day and like hope I someone inspires me to like something in the chat, but it never happens. I'm kind of a sad cunt. I just miss the days where I had, had passion, man. I know that feel, mate. Yeah, man. Why? Well, at least your passion died because you're just a passionless person. Better than that and to have passion for a game that's dying, I think, so. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Did you play the Division beta at all? Nah. What is it? It's like a... If you play Borderlands? Yeah. I played that with a couple of friends. Isn't it? I think it's supposed to be like a kind of an MMO version of that game, I think. Uh, every time I hear MMO nowadays, I'm like, eh. Well, but it's got guns, dude. It's got guns? Lots of loot Lots when of you loot. kill people. I like loot, kinda. And the whole progress feeling from that shit went away when we were 
we have played so many of them. Like as a kid, I was like, oh my god, I'm leveling up. I got a new skill. I got a new. I got a new gear. Whatever. It, it felt really good. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. What you mean. Uh, the first, I think, the first time, all that shit's happening, and then you get it all taken away from you. Like the game doesn't matter anymore. Or there's a new expansion or whatever. Then you realize. Uh, the progress feeling is a lie. Sure. We love that progress feeling. I mean, that's that's what we play every game for, right? See numbers get bigger, or like rank get higher. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what all modern gaming is based on now. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, it doesn't trick me as much as it used to. I wish it did, I want to be mind controlled. <laughs> I just want to be on drugs again. I'm scared I'm gonna depress you, but probably not. You'll, no, be, you'll no, be fine. No, I'm fairly realistic yeah. about it. Yeah. Have you seen ST Peach? Is that a streamer? It is, right? Yeah, yeah, she's the best movie streamer there is. Why is she the best? She's got the nicest uh, assets. Oh, well that seems pretty important if you're a movie streamer. How many views does she get? I mean, she's just starting out, but uh, she already gets like 800, probably. Uh, I'll, I'll, hook you. I'll link you. What, is it Hearthstone, or...? I, I don't know, I didn't notice her game. <laughs> okay. I think it's League of Legends, actually. Yeah, is it League of Legends there? Oh, that's some high-quality gaming content. <laughs> nice girl that I've talked to. Her. She's nice, huh, Chad? Ah, oh, see, we got punished for not trading. We're pissed. Have you heard of the calling? People are telling me to play that. No, but a lot of people keep spamming that at me too. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. Oh, are you streaming right now? Yeah, what? What are you playing? Um, I don't know. This fucking farm game? Stardew Valley? Oh, right, 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 right. Holy shit, do you think I would talk to you for this long if I wasn't getting viewers out of it? What the fuck? You're not that Yeah, cool. good point, man. Damn, dude. Damn. I thought I was... No, but me, you could have been thinking long term, like you get viewers next uh, next stream. Yeah. Oh, you thought I was oh, gonna yeah. be the. Um... Hey, I mean, uh, I was gonna be the. Too. No, hold on, I got. I had a good one. Oh, that I was gonna be the waffle to your lyric. What was the name? Giant waffle. That's the guy. Oh she. Didn't he get big because he was lyrics friend, and now he's got his own. I have no idea. Like Probably. Twitch girlfriend and everything. I think that was a good meme. Okay, your chat will appreciate that meme, I think. Yeah, they love it. <laughs> the fuck is a spooky mess, guys? What's going on? I like that you're, I mean, everyone tells you this all the time, probably, but yeah, I like that you're not afraid to speak your mind or whatever, man. Yeah, to some extent, not as much as I used to be. I mean, you can get pretty fucked <laughs> on that shit. Yeah, I realized that <laughs> recently, man. It always used to be a lot easier to say that. It's really easy to say, like, oh, that guy speaks his mind. It's really easy to say that until you actually have to worry about losing, like, your main income. Like, I was always big on that, um, and I didn't really give a fuck if I lost sponsors or whatever, because my big thing was streaming. Um, and as long as I had my stream, I was fine. But then, then that, um... Were you scared when you got banned by Twitch? Um, a little bit, but I knew it wasn't permanent. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if I really if I really thought it was permanent, I would have been pretty scary. Yeah, like, that's nothing pretty to scary. Do. Yeah. Yeah. When my when I got seven day banned for watching YouTube videos and that happened, I was like freaked the fuck out because I never really considered the fact that they would actually ban me. It's like holy shit, like 
just the idea that you could lose your whole revenue stream if like and then looking at like how the culture of twitch has kind of shifted towards these kind of weird i don't like to say social justice warrior but you got a lot of that stuff going on in the background of a lot of shit these days it gets a little spooky sometimes yeah Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, I feel like they valued us more. I mean, they did. They valued us more four years ago or whatever, and now they have so many streamers. It yeah, that's not as big a deal. Did you, uh, and they you don't have you... enough competition. Yeah, that's not a, healthy. It's a pretty big problem. As a website? Yeah, for sure. Have you, um, uh, uh, you said you started streaming in 2012? Yeah. Were you, like, fairly big back then? I was really big back then. That's when I played WoW. Okay. Do you, do you um are you did you notice a difference? A little difference maybe in the uh, ad revenue we made back then versus now? Oh yeah. Is it like I, I never ran ads. I just had the the one you know there's the one ad automatically at the beginning of when they tune in. Oh sure. Oh wow. But I uh, I did ads? yeah it's like a third right. That's it's uh, ad block rates went. It's not a third. It's like one tenth. I think we get paid now on what, based on what we used to get. It's like very, very, very significant. Like okay. four or 5,000 viewers before, um, like if I ran commercials pretty frequently, I can make like $7,000 a month pretty easily. Like a six ads, like an hour, not like a huge, like it was insane money. And now- Wait, you made how much? Like 7,000 a month, like just in ad revenue. Oh, wow. Like just no, I never ad. made that much in ad revenue. So yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Like if you ran commercials, like five to 7,000 people. But nowadays you get like, maybe like 600 bucks. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. I think the most I ever made in ad revenue in a month was way, yeah, in like 2012. Yeah. Uh, maybe December, I made like 3,500 or something. Sure, sure. I like how they have on the new interface. I like how they rolled subscriber revenue on top of the daily ads, so you can't. Yes, yeah, so you don't feel like you're missing It doesn't that. look as bad. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It, it really, even to the mathematically minded, it tricks you. Like you look at it, you're like, oh, I'm doing pretty well with this sub thing. <laughs> you're like, oh, my, my my revenue from Twitch is pretty nice, right? When you open that up, oh yeah, you're just, you're like, just, oh, they're just like trying to make subscriber. it look like that money's good. Yeah. I, even even while I'm thinking that, I'm like, oh, I didn't know I was making this much from Twitch. It's cool. Oh even yeah, though, see the subscriber things broken down daily. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? You want me to ask you about music? What, what about it? I don't know. That was that was the guy. That was the guy in chat. That's all he said. Ask him about music. Nice. There was a guy in my chat saying something. It's probably the same guy spamming both chats. Okay, let's see what his name is. His name is Minwoo. How is it, how's it spelled? M I N W O O T. Oh, hey, stupid monkey! I see you in chat. Oh, I don't know what, um, I don't know what his name was in my chat, rip because I have a different side chat. I, I shot him SDP, she thought she was sad. Probably. Seemed like it. Wait, do you like play an instrument or something, or? Oh, I play guitar. Oh, that's cute. Like a lot, yeah, or? A lot, or... Uh, I played when I was 16 for a couple months, and I haven't really played since, but sometimes I play on stream, because I want me to. Oh, thank you. You play something? Yeah, I did, uh, I went to college for saxophone, and I kind of play piano a little bit. Oh. You want to hear me play something? Sure, knock yourself out. Oh. Alright, I'm going to turn you on. Oh, uh, but I can't hold the push to talk. Okay, I'll have Just to set it. it on, yeah, we'll Yeah, I'll set it on the thing. Let's try not to talk too much. All right, chat, what should I play to turn him on? All right. 
Um. Uh... Allison, what are you doing here, buddy? Fuck. Do we come sit on my left? You guys nervous? In the chat? This one. Right here, it's this one. Alright, here we go. You wanna hear you wanna hear some classical? Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing, buddy. Okay. Alright. This is for you, man. Actually, fuck that. Okay, here we go. Hmm. You guys want me to play brain power? Damn. He friends showed me, buddy. Oh fuck. That's not Kappa Pratt anymore. I saw that too. Fuck. No, it's, tune it's, not, it's not out of tune, it's uh, just uh, the aesthetic that you're going for, that particular sound. Okay, sure. That's a nostalgic feeling right here. Fuck, it's bugging me. I have to play my Dr. Six on turn six. Hold on. Uh, that was really important. All right. Why, do you have a coin? No, no, no. It's turn six, man. Is Dr. Boom with seven it. mana? Huh? I thought Dr. Boom was seven mana. Dr. Six, man. Oh, who the fuck is Dr. Six? The fucking secret pally card that puts all your secrets up, man. Oh, the Christmas tree dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had like different names for all the dudes because I can never pronounce them right. It was like Alexandria the dragon, Antonio Banderas was the wizard dude that gave you after fireballs. So what? The, what's the what's Doctor Six called? I don't. Is it called Christmas tree dude. What was his actual name? Mysterious challenger. Oh, I might have called him Ray Mysterio. I don't even remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> all right. Okay. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It's fine. Should, should we actually like go tune the guitar and then it sounds better? Or does it not matter? No, I like it. It's, it's got a much, yeah, more, authentic much more authentic feeling now. I think that intonation, think intonation is just like, just a, like something that's pushed, pushed, by, the pushed man, by the man, you know, to kind of keep right, the creativity. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. Should I play, man? Oh, have you heard this one? He's not responding. No, I haven't heard it. I was listening for it to see if I recognize it. Nope, I haven't heard it. it sounds oh. beautiful. <laughs> it's funny, I never know if you're trolling me, because, um... The way you compliment just sounds so sarcastic. <laughs> sounds beautiful. Okay, no, but I know I... you aren't trolling this time. You aren't okay. trolling this time. Well, how, how do you know that? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. Not trolling. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, chat. <sighs> sounds beautiful. Okay, let's not cue yet, chat. Truly, we need this to do, is uh, the dankest do this. dungeon. Bye. Hey, Dastone Ale, do you think you overcome depression, anxiety time, through no, great mental effort? Or are chemical imbalances oh, so dooming us to suffer for the rest of our lives? Been too bad? Also, I offered to gobble your knob back, back when you were mm. playing Bloodborne. It still stands. Sorry, okay, what'd you ask me? It's not bugging you too bad that the mic's always on? No, it's fine. Sweet. I'm chilling. Stop trying to link butts in chat, guys. I can get banned for that. No butts in the chat. Ask him about death grip. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, he needs to ask me about something. You ask me about something, man. I, I mean, you're doing a good job. Huh? You're doing a good job. Okay. Do you like death grips? 
What's Death Grips? Okay, never mind. Yeah, never mind. So, no, it's a, it's a, it's a it's musical, a musical uh, ensemble. ensemble. They do a oh. hip hop. No, never heard. Fuck. And we're not really bonding on uh, the obscure references, you know? It's alright. Right. Just live in uh, different parts of the internet. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even read it. Cad, when you heard that, you were probably like, uh, this guy doesn't read it. Uh, kind of a casual, uh, I don't know. Okay, it's in tune. We're chilling. Oh, fuck, I broke my Oh, I know it's not in tune. I would never tune a guitar. That'd, that'd be crazy. Ask him to play a duet with you on his sex. <laughs> okay. like the latency would make that possible. Oh, I know huh? this song, right? What the fuck is this song? You totally know that song. Yeah, what is it? What's it called? I know it. I know it. Keep trying to guess. Hold on. Uh, it starts... There is... Let me know. Oh, the house of the rising sun. I cheated. My chat said it. I'm sorry. Oh, someone in your chat said it? Yeah, they didn't even you get it. You ruined the chance. game, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, they fucked it all you up. You fucked up. Okay, how about this one? How about this one? Sorry, no. I'm a really bad okay. person. Okay, no clue on that one. Um, hmm. What do I ask next? He's a bad person, huh, chat? Okay, next one. Um, oh, this is cute. If you're playing like a lot of like classic rock shit, my knowledge of that was pretty shallow. Okay, next. How about... What would he know? Oh, oh, oh. No. All right, chat would know this. Chat said it. I'm sorry. That's the only reason. Yeah. yeah. Oh damn. I don't know any other Metallica, Metallica except for that. I don't either. I don't either. I just know that song. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. We're good. We're good. Oh yeah. I, oh, yeah. Can you play "Meme Way to Heaven"? That's my favorite song. No, oh, come on, man. Can you play "Wonderwall"? Ah, oh, come on, man. Really? Are you even a real guitar player? I can't even tell now. Actually, I don't even know "Wonderwall," but everyone. I mean, yeah, everyone who touched guitar knows "Stairway to Heaven." Right? Wow. wow. Uh, let's meme all the way. Can you make like hot, like gachi noises while I play Stare at Heaven? Um, bring the uh, STP yeah, chick on. I think she can do it. Yeah, that'd be nice. I don't think I'm qualified for that. Fuck. What's next? Uh... Oh, I know a cute one. Oh, I'm so ready. This is gonna be so cute. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. <sighs> Get your angel thumps ready, Chet.
cute, right? That's fish. Yeah. Yeah. But I have. But I have oh yeah, fish. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good job. Good job. You know fish? Um. Yeah. The guitar player yeah, is pretty cool. I've heard some of this stuff. Yeah. Tri Anastasio or something. I have no idea what his name is. Man. Okay. What's next, chat? Oh fuck. It wasn't cute. Oh, you guys want me to stop saying cute? Mr. Ralph, you want me to stop saying cute? What's wrong with cute, man? Just everyone just share the love in chat. Just love each other, you know? Too much hate in this world. Just say some hippie shit. I agree. I agree. Fuck. Mm. Oh, look at all those hearts. That's a nice top deck. All right. Fuck, man. This game is so casual, it's crazy. I wonder if your game is more intense than mine. Oh, um, I don't know. This is a pretty easy game. But explain to me how it works. It's. Have you ever played Harvest Moon? No. Oh. Gee, how are there so people that have never? Oh God. Um. Yeah, I don't know. You just plant crops and then you sell them, so you get more money for more crops. And yeah, you can also do animals. Like sell. Yeah, and then you get. Do um. You get these improvements that make it so you can do it better, can do it much. faster. Yeah, pretty much. Better. Yeah, big Skinner box. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, baby. I've seen my roommate play a game called Cookie Clicker, so it's kind of like that, maybe. Kinda, but not quite as absurdly Skinner boxy as that. But yeah. What's that term you're using? Uh, Skinner box, right? It's a box you put a little rat in and then he pushes a button and he gets a reward. Uh, popularized by the psychologist B.F. Skinner, right? Who oh, okay. Discovered never behavioralism, heard of that. right? Yeah. It's like the, it's a, uh, it's like a way of learning behavior, right? You've got like Pavlovian responses and shit and then you've got like, I don't know, B.F. Skinner talking about behavioralism, right? Am I making this up? Wasn't he the guy that did behavioralism? You're probably not making a sip. And then, um, yeah, Skinner Box, I think, was uh, basically you put a rat in it, he pushes a button, and then it gives him some shit. And that's what a lot of games are like these days. You push a button, you get a reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. That reminds me, there's... Oh, I don't know if this is similar. There's some experiment where they put a rat, and he had two types of water to drink from, and one was, tr like, drug with something, and one was just regular. Yeah. And then when he had friends, he didn't drink the drug, take the drugs, and when he didn't have friends, he took the drugs. I remember hearing okay. something about that. Did I make this up too, chat? <laughs> I think I'm, I think it's a, a little thing, more right? complicated than that, but yeah, I've, yeah I'm, I'm familiar with what you're talking about. I don't know the details though. The fuck am I doing? Guys? This guy has too much knowledge. I know, man. I have no knowledge. I need more knowledge. It's your friend, it's your, your best friend, friend is Wikipedia. <laughs> You linked that video to me? Oh yeah, maybe you did it, A-Cakes. Like six months ago? I missed... What did I miss? Yeah, I'm sorry, the Skinner guy wasn't oh. um, Pavlov. I don't know I Black Magic like, Pavlovian conditioning was like... I mean, I can think but, of how uh, the song sounds Pavlov, uh, Ivan Pavlov, I think. And then B.F. Skinner did Behavioralism. Like Gypsy Kings. Behaviorism? Behaviorism? I like Gypsy Kings. That was um, I'm like, play like con some operant conditioning, I think somebody said. It's like a different thing. I don't remember. I think I'm done serenading him for now. Can't think of anything else. That sounded beautiful. Sounded beautiful. Thanks. Do you want it, when do you, you play, like, how do you how learn do you songs? Uh, actually, these are all the songs I knew when I was 16. I haven't learned anything new. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You don't have, do you ever, do you know, like, chords you know, and shit? Can you play along to, like, chords, or, chords? or do you have to have Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, I know, it's like, scales. I can like fuck around on a scale, you know? Oh, well, well, well. Damn, there you go. Oh, that's pretty much all I do with music these days, so. Yeah, if you bring your guitar somewhere, we'll go play together. It'll be beautiful, okay? Okay. Wow, we're in, guys. We're in. Good job. Uh, okay, I can put it back. Actually, I like this talk mode. I like this. I can talk from across the room. Can you hear me now? 
Yeah, yeah. good. Sweet. <sighs> Everyone's kept priding. We should go on a date. Well, I don't know. I don't want to date someone with kids. You know, that's too much money. Whoa, it's only one kid. First, like. Yeah. Tell me about your kid. I'll think about it. <laughs> I mean, he's a pretty cool dude. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. I used to kind did, of. Did he inherit any bad traits from um, the, the the woman? I don't think so. I mean, I'm on okay. I'm on good terms with his mom. I don't like hate her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just want to go face. Ah, fuck it. No, woman. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't being sexist. I was assuming that whoever this woman is, he's not with her anymore, so he doesn't like something about her that maybe the kid could have inherited. Oh, no. Bam. No, we See? just couldn't live together. We were fucking crazy as fuck. Um, I don't... See chat? Yeah. But we are still in good terms. Like, we see each other pretty often and whatnot. There we go, chat. We're chilling. You guys need to calm your asses down. Yeah, chat. Yeah, chat. Oh, recently I had a... Oh, this actually happened yesterday. So, on my last computer, I never bothered transferring all my photos to this one when I got it. I was just like, eh, you know, uh, they're safe over there, it's fine. And, uh, usually mechanical hard drives last several years, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, anyway, I went to look. For some reason, uh, I wanted, I was thinking of a specific video from like two years ago, and I was like, oh, I want to I see that. So, uh, I took the hard drive out of the computer and put it in this one. And then, um, it's, I can kind of look at the files, but... Half of them don't really load, and when I try to transfer it to my other drive, it goes at like, you know, 500 kilobytes a second instead of whatever the fuck mechanical drives go at, like 80 megabytes a second. It goes slow as fuck. And I'm like, I was, I was really scared because I, I, I care about my memories and pictures and videos a lot because I don't really remember them otherwise. I look back, I'm like, oh shit, I, didn't even, I forgot that happened, and it makes me happy for a second. But, um, uh, I was wondering... What other people do, like, if you use, like, some cloud storage for all your photos and shit, or do you not really care about that kind of stuff? Or? Yeah, I'm a horrible yeah, person. I'm not sentimental, sentimental at all. Oh, you don't give a fuck about that? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I mean, if I were you, I think redundant drives would be plenty safe enough. Just by, I mean, space is free these days, right? Right. Yeah, so you mean you just, just back just up another, some information yeah, on multiple. Yeah, another drive. Yeah. yeah. Right, um, uh, do you know, have you ever done a Raid Array? On what? A raid array? Oh, a raid array, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, the, like raid raid, one, raid, no? which one's the safe one? Raid one? Yeah. Copies everything? Yeah. And then once you've got parity, if a drive crashes, I think you just swap in another drive and it'll restore shit for free. Like, easy. Yeah. Or just get another drive and you can even use Windows to make auto backup so you don't have to do a raid array. Well, why are you against me? Why shouldn't I just do the cloud storage? Um, I don't know, I don't. Like Dropbox or something? I mean, I guess you could. Okay. I mean, if anybody ever hacks it, then all that shit is out there. Yeah. I guess people feel that way, but it, it, I mean, it happened like one time, right? Well, to the some celebrities. thing was fucking huge to celebrities, and I mean, if your accounts ever got compromised, then they would have access to all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I had a huge fucking scare once when I was, um... I don't know where I, I was flying where back where from, from, some some country, some country. and, it, and I, I guess on the I way back, I must have checked my email at like a bad Wi-Fi wi spot, and somebody sniffed my password or something, I, I don't know how exactly happened, but somebody, in the middle of my stream, somebody hacked my PayPal, and I thought my life was going to be over, because I keep uh, probably too much, more than I should money in my PayPal. Right, okay. Um, so I figured I was fucked, so I start going through it, the Amazon control immediately, and this guy had charged like... A hundred dollars of shit to like a to Warcraft, like a Warcraft uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Warcraft thing. It was just some like Chinese gold farmer scammer. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I like dodged the hugest bullet. I thought that I was about to lose like every dollar, and he's got like a hundred and twenty dollars and like World yeah, of Warcraft yeah, yeah. shit charge. Oh my god! 
<laughs> That's pretty. Wait, so why were you keeping so much money in PayPal and not like investing in Twitter stock? This was before I ever had a kind of big guard. Um, this is a long time ago. And then okay. now it's just. I don't know, I'm just lazy. Because it has to go from like PayPal to your bank, and then from bank to Vanguard. It's like fuck. Just lazy. Yeah. And then you got to keep it on hand, especially. I, I was going to move a bunch over to investing, but um, the tax time coming up. Taxes are scary, dude. <laughs> yeah, they are. No, and okay, what do you. Now, what do you think about how much we pay in taxes considering we don't leave the house or. You know, we could do this from anywhere, kind of. Um, I mean, do you think we pay too much? This is the dankest. Uh, have you ever Brave just your house, you cuck, I need Monko money. Plays your taxes. Cuck, I need Monko money. Plays your taxes or some shit. Um, and so far as like the United States goes, I think that the way that the sole proprietor taxes work because of the um. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Cool. <laughs> Can we use the push it off for this combo? Because the echo is like really throwing me off. Oh, the echo is fucking you. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you, you, you should have told me. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what? Just hold on. When I, if I'm trying to like think about a difficult topic, then it's okay. Okay, I can hear myself think um, instead of hearing myself talk, which is disgusting. Um, I, I, you, you know that you can write off like a fair amount of what you do um, in terms of your taxes, right? Like anytime you purchase a game or make a purchase for Hearthstone trading packs, um, the right, percentage yeah. of your rent, or do you own your house or how does that? Uh, I'm not in a house, but yeah, if I had a house, I know. I'd Is it like an it. apartment or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like the cost of your internet, cost of cell phone. Um, there's any, any travel, like a lot of that stuff, you know, you can write off a lot of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess like when I work through a lot of those deductions, it's not as bad, I guess, as it could be. But I mean, it's not as great as like if you lived in like Mexico or some shit, you'd be paying a much less amount. Or you go to like fucking Romania if you want to go hardcore. And cost of right, living right. is a lot lower there too. You'd live as a god until somebody shows up and like kills you and the government doesn't do anything about it. But Yeah, it's only downside, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think like I, I like I live in a very cheap spot. I live in... Do you, where do you live? I live in Austin, Texas. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah. I live in Nebraska. So, um, I, like, my cost of living is very fucking low, and I do agree with that you can do it from anywhere, so I've never moved to a more expensive spot. And my um, son lives here, too, and I don't really want to move away from him, so. Okay. Yeah. Why have you thought about... I mean, if I was... If I had... If I didn't have a son, I probably would have moved countries, maybe? I'm not sure. It would depend because taxes in other places tend to be higher than the United States. Like if you're looking at like Western Europe um, or Canada, you're probably paying more in taxes. Why are we yeah, yeah, moving yeah. to like some kind of like second world, like Soviet satellite place or like Romania? I, I didn't or actually do that much or... research on where you don't pay taxes at all, except people always say Monaco, right? Oh, I mean, okay. some places you actually pay zero. Like, the, where? The, the, some of the really small dot countries. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe are you talking about like tax haven countries or whatever? Can you actually live there? Are there places to live or? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I, really, oh. I I wasn't actually considering it, so I didn't really Google into it. You know, I was like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go resign U.S. U.S. citizenship, leave all my friends, and just yeah, I was gonna say like a fucking box the thing somewhere. that sucks about being a U.S. citizen or one of the biggest things. Like, I think we're like the only country that is. There might be one others that you have to. Pay when you're taxes. living somewhere else, you still have to pay taxes. Federal yes. taxes. Yeah, that's a that's a getcha. Uh, so you would have to actually renounce your citizenship to go and live somewhere else. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty big deal, I think. Yeah. What are you guys saying? Some girl wants to talk to me? Breakful would rather talk to a dude. I would right now, actually. Aww. I'm chilling. Fuck. People are saying uh, the cost of living in Monaco is really high. Okay. Yeah, man, it sucks living in the U.S., doesn't it? Fail fish. I don't know. I, I I know you're joking, but I don't go outside, so where I live doesn't actually affect me. Like, do I do I really enjoy living in the U.S.? No. Uh, I have a couple friends here. I could easily move to some other country and not care that much. But at the same time, I, I was just thinking I, I value the couple friends I do have more than not paying taxes so i haven't done that truly this is 
The Dankest Dungeon. Fuck you, man. The chance of randomly getting killed in Romania is a lot lower than in the US. That's probably true, actually. <laughs> My haircut is super cute. Wow, thanks. Some other streamer dude I was talking to, like, said it was not. Man, it sucked. Oh, what an asshole, man. Dubai, 0% tax, but no Jews allowed. Damn. Did you, um, did you, uh, did you get healthcare last year? Yeah. Oh, nice. I got it for this year, but I didn't last year, so I'm gonna have to pay the fucking penalty. <laughs> Wait, how much is it? It was a percent. I was, it's I was really scared. Two percent of your gross income before tax, or before like any deduction. Oh so, my god, what percent? Yeah, two percent. Oh your fuck. Gross income, so, <laughs> yeah, but I okay, so I have I have insurance and it's like two hundred something a month, two hundred fifty maybe. Damn. Damn. So I, I yeah, and, and I'm like okay, I have insurance at two hundred fifty a month. I want to like go get checked out. You know, I haven't I've gone to the doctor in a long time. So I go to the doctor and like. Get some blood tests, and apparently I have a, I have a, I have some shit called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. You've probably never heard of, right? Nope. I didn't know what the fuck it was. So I have that, and then uh, the blood test I got to check that I had that cost five hundred dollars. I was like, wait, my insurance doesn't cover that? What the fuck? It's a blood test, and I don't know. It doesn't cover anything. It's weird. I got two hundred fifty dollars a month insurance, and I just have to pay for everything. Yeah, that's kind of shit. I got um, I got the cheapest yeah. insurance, but it's still like 130 a month. And then I had like a doctor appointment for like 200 bucks. And it's like, oh, cool. I figure insurance will cover all that. And they cover like 80 bucks. It's like, oh, well, this is interesting. Yeah, man. <laughs> and now I'm paying just an extra 2,000 a year on insurance that I wouldn't have got anyway. But yeah, right. Pretty sweet. Wait, so do you have um hyperthyroidism or? No, it's it's not hypo or hyperthyroidism. It's this other kind of related thing i was googling a bit about it some people say you don't even have to treat it and some people are like oh you actually really have to treat it you were googling about it why didn't you ask your fucking doctor this is what part of the money you paid was for oh the doctor didn't think i had to treat it <laughs> <laughs> well but you about. didn't ask him like questions about it he was just like oh hey dog you got this hashimoto shit he um, said there's a book about it i could read or something <laughs> he didn't give you like any info at all about give it give me the, the reference to the book that i could read about it if oh, i wanted to get shit. treated for it okay some shit it, it was pretty shit man you know Damn, yo. Everyone's <laughs> making fun of NA Healthcare and shit. Yeah, man. Key. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, Hey, you got this thing. I don't know what it is, but if you just book about it, if you want to know. <laughs> Nice PhD, bro. Anyone in chat know what it is? Yo, chat, be my doctor. Should I go get treated? I mean, I looked it up. It looks, it said it was an autoimmune disease and it could possibly contribute to hyperthyroidism in the future if it fucks your thyroid up too much. And that's all I saw. Yeah. So I guess your doctor, there might be other like indicators in your blood or whatever for hyperthyroidism. Since you didn't have that, it, I think maybe you figured it didn't matter. Yeah, there's some tests called TSH and something called T4 and. Like, I don't know, I fucking rolled high on one, one test one time, then I took it again, and I didn't roll high that time. Every uh, blood test was 500 bucks, he was just like, he was loving it the whole time. Giving me sweet advice. Oh, it causes hair loss. That's why I'm bald! No, probably not. Shit, okay. chat. We won another Hearthstone game. How exciting. Good job, dude. I'm really proud of you. Isn't this awesome? How's your farming going? You, you get, uh, getting bigger and better stuff? Something like that. Just kind of running around aimlessly, yeah. Mm. I, I keep hoping that there's something wrong with me. That's why I went. Because I was like, I'm just tired all the time and I don't have any motivation or anything. Tired all the time, no motivation. Do you have a shitty attitude sometimes? You feel a little grumpy? <laughs> you have this. I could be low testosterone, mate. You never know. Fuck. Oh, uh, I, I got tested for that. So that was another $500 blood test. I, I really thought I had low testosterone. The doctor was like, yeah, I've been doing this for uh, 12 years, and you almost certainly have low testosterone. And then Do I you got remember tested, what your was number like was? 550 or something. Holy shit, you're like a god. <laughs> I was just chilling. Yeah. 
I got mine since the recent. I was at my fucking. I'm at three twenty whatever fucking poverty town. <laughs> Barely a fucking man. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I got I got crazy chest here, man. So the doctor didn't know that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. I don't know, chat. I don't fucking know. I just want something to come by and fix me. Just I wake up and suddenly I have drive and I'm just like, oh yeah, I want to fucking. Can I want to go to the gym and go go to sh take a shower and then like go get some good food and like really care about something. Yeah, so like I don't know if um it's a similar feeling, but that I, I kind of get that feeling if I don't have like a main game that has like a mechanical thing. Like that's one of the reasons why I like that's one of the reasons why I couldn't continue with Hearthstone, but I liked games like StarCraft or even CS:GO or even League. As much as I hate team games, like for those games, like every day you play them, you can see yourself getting a little bit better at something. Like for an emo in a MOBA, you get a little bit more CS like every month. Like oh, like I'm CSing better than I used to be, or you know I can dodge that skill with my you know my blink. I think. Or for StarCraft, you know like that build used to kill me and now it doesn't anymore i'm a little bit faster i spread creep a little bit better like you could always like have those indicators to see improvement but like for hearthstone right. it's really hard like i put a new card in my deck or you know i didn't play that on curve instead or you know like it's a lot harder i'm not saying that there's no skill but i'm saying that it's a lot harder to see that improvement you know or i feel like yep. a gradual right. increase in skill especially because for any given deck you have to play a deck like at least like at the very least 50 times to know if like you're just hitting shitty variants or if, you know it's actually good or <clears throat> And even at that point, even I mean, you could play 50 blackjack hands and have completely different RNG than the next 50. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 50 is like pretty small sample size still. Play losing games in the casino, I guess. Wow. Uh, I, I know I don't like playing losing games in the casino. Uh, I, okay, you'll see sometimes, I do gamble sometimes, and I know that in the long run I'm always going to lose money and it's super fuck. But I do it only for the thrill feeling that I can't get anywhere else, like with excitement for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's because it's hard. It's hard to create that excitement in another way. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Yeah, I know you guys are calling me a gambling. I called the, g yeah, yeah. Never mind. Forget the gambling thing. Now, um, hmm. Yeah, the the lack of seeing improvement, uh, that that I'm missing that that I can't see improvement every day when I'm playing a game. That's that's true, man. But like I was saying, I don't have any game I want to go play because everyone's played for five years, and I, I'd hate to catch up game. I want to start a competitive game the same time everyone else is starting it for the first time. That's always like. <laughs> alluring but it's so hard to call them out you know like how are you gonna know like well, like why didn't you jump on heroes right yeah you just you have to you have to also guess that it's gonna be popular yeah like imagine you did jump in heroes and then it's shit now and you like wasted all that time but then some people get really lucky you've got like trump um hafu all got on hearthstone really early and that game ended up being fucking huge so yeah Yeah, I see you guys saying Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter is good, and I play it, but it's still, people have. I hope it doesn't have Big Game Hunter because that's really unlucky. But it's fucking PGA shit that. Oh, he roped. He's pissed, and I'm happy. Look, guys, that's what happiness feels like. See, see how happy I am. Wow. The one thing I regret about Hearthstone that I never got to do, I always wanted to get to play a game. I always wanted to make a deck where I'd play that fucking meme card. The card that makes it so your opponent has, um, is it half as much time to do their turn? Like 15 seconds instead oh, of... Oh, yeah, and it's normal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That always seemed like a really fun card to play against, like, a patron or yeah, something. but it's just shit. so fucking bad. You're For for nine mana, you're playing a, an 8-8 eight, eight that you know, I, dies to BGA. Yeah, no, it's, it's bad, but it's, like, a huge meme. Like, it would be funny as fuck to win a game because of that card, like, to see somebody... Yeah, yeah, you just drop it, though. I, I've actually tried to meme with it. You drop it and it just gets BG. They're like, oh. I BGH that. Okay, now I have the rest of the time to think about my turn. Wow. Yeah, or like I siphon soul that or whatever. Oh yeah. Fucking... Yeah, I guess um, since it's so expensive, by the time you drop it, they're gonna have something to deal with it. Yeah. If it was a four twelve or something like Ysera, you can mean way harder. That fucking shit ass fucking card. Every single I mean time. someone I, I mean force him pretty hard on time with the Nazdarmu though, because we were playing some weird mode where it could, all cards could cost any amount of mana, so I had it was like a, a tavern brawl. Sure. So I added Nazarma for like two mana, and 
I, I made him look at his other monitor, so he missed his whole turn, and then I won. It's pretty sweet. But um, every time somebody played that Yosara card against me in every game, they would always get that thing that does like five damage. To every five damage to everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like. I actually legitimately thought because I didn't. Well, I still don't know what half the cards in that game do. Like, I just thought that that card only spawned that card for the longest <laughs> yeah. time because every time somebody played Yosara, the it, next turn they had that cards, fucking yeah. yeah. That one is so fucking game breaking. The other one's like, there's one that's just a sap, which isn't that big a deal. Yeah. Whatever. I always thought like the cheapest, funniest, most like tempo turning card in the fucking universe was always a uh, Kazan Mystic. Like anytime you're playing like, oh, dude, when you're playing like yeah. fucking Freeze Mage and somebody drops Kazan on you and you're like, oh god, <laughs> you just like leave like on turn four or whatever like instantly. Yeah. Or even like Hunter too, like the switch in tempo was so fucking massive, like oh my fucking god. <clears throat> I got Kazan twice once in the same, in one series in a tournament. Nice. Seat story actually. It was pretty fun. On a secret on turn four. <laughs> nice. Well, hey, but for Paladin, you got like 50 million secrets, so it's not a big deal, right? No, I was a, I was a mage. Oh, was uh, a... yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, you're fucked then. Yeah. Yeah, when people start wrecking your secrets on. It was really funny, um, like, when the uh, super anti. Um, for a while, Secret Paladin was like the best deck in the game, or it was the second best, I don't know, because people always put Patronus first, even though it was way harder to play. Um, like, you would start to see all of these crazy, crazy, like, anti uh, Secret Blood Knight, but they'd still lose. Sometimes, yeah, or like the flares and the hunters and shit, like, just the, yeah, the craziest fucking shit, yeah. You're still, they, they thought it was so good if you, they flare all your secrets, like, oh, I'm flaring off five secrets, and uh, they sh you're still playing nothing. a fucking 6-6 six, six for six mana. It's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. And then the other person has to have Flare in their hand, which is a dead card most of the game, and then pay two mana for it. To remove, just to make the 6-6 six, six only a 6-6 six, six for six mana, like, oh no. The worst games I played, I think, were the um, Patron Warrior versus Freeze Mage. Those games, for some reason, people always said that it grossly favored, um, I think that, that it grossly favored Patron, I think, against Freeze Mage, right? Uh... It favors patron if they play it right to have enough armor and fatigue you. Yeah. And if, yeah, it, if they don't, right. Oh, sorry, yeah, I was going to say that's every single game against patron warrior came down to fatigue. Like, it was like the most painstaking games in the fucking world. Yeah, every time I saw a warrior, I knew it was going to be like a 20, 30 minute game. Yep. I, uh, if you played a duplicate, then all of a sudden you could win because they just didn't have. I mean, they were just YOLO user executes whatever on a Doomsayer, you know? Sure. sure. Sometimes, and I mean, if, if they, they wouldn't have enough executes to kill three Antonitis. So you, as long as you got one Antonitis to stick, you, it wouldn't go to fatigue. But uh, then you have to take a different card and it's not good against everything. I always thought it was strange, like of all the cards in Hearthstone, like Warrior, for whatever reason, have you ever noticed that like Warrior has like no RNG in the entire deck, except for Brawl? Brawl, I mean they have some RNG cards that just aren't good, they have like Whirling Blade or something. Whirling, no, Whirling Blade was a guaranteed one damage everything, no? No, that's Whirlwind. Whirling oh, Blade is well, like Whirling Blade is a super meme card. Dies. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that card, but yeah, but fuck, no one uses that fucking shit. But like when you're talking about like execute was like guaranteed damage, that thing that does like plus one attack and gives two attack or whatever is like guaranteed. Um the whirling spinning blade or whatever the fuck was guaranteed, like all of the cards were always like one hundred percent. Uh I felt like it was really hard to be a control warrior. Like if they played well, I feel like it yep. was like an impossible matchup. I feel like I lose control warrior more than anything else. But I always play I was always playing Freeze Mage and um like zoo and shit like that, so. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But then you would, yeah. Okay, you guys are saying. Hey, what's wrong? Wreckful, I have Hashimoto's. You have something wrong with you. It causes depression, fatigue, brain fog, joint pain. It does cause hair thinning as well. It's really hard to get diagnosed because the TSH levels vary. What you need is a periodic monitoring through blood tests so that you can get a correct dosage of T4 hormone replacement. I literally got blood work for this like three days ago. Yeah, they had me go to blood tests over and over and over. But it was just because they wanted to make sure I didn't have a uh, hypo or hyperthyroid. Because my, my TSH was going crazy. Like one time it was 0.6 and one time it was like 4.4. I think those are the numbers. And it ranges from like 0.5 to 4 usually in most people or something like that. But um... Someone wants me to mention Applejack to you. Do you know him? 
I don't think so, should I? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. No, he's, just, he's a streamer. I've only seen him a couple times. It seemed like he was doing drugs on stream and dancing. And I thought maybe you knew him somehow, but... Nope. Chat, what the hell? I was actually talking to my chat for a bit. It's been a while. I wasn't neglecting them. How's your chat doing? They're fine. I always neglect them, so they're used to it. Oh, nice. I should do that more often, because they, they expect me to talk to them. Since I used to talk to them all the time. You know? Oh. If I just make it, if I make it the norm to neglect them, though, and they expect nothing, it's just a happier lifestyle, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think that goes for all of life. It's just to expect nothing when you're chilling. Ask about Cecile the lion. Jesus Christ. I, I don't, I just, I'm not a big animal person. I thought the response to the lion thing was pretty overblown. I think people got a little bit ridiculous about that. But... Oh, I, I don't even know who Cecile the lion is. Did, did he get mistreated or something? So lion, uh, dentist dude went overseas and killed a lion and people were saying that he it was a lion he wasn't supposed to kill. So people like witch hunted this dude until his dental practice went out of business and his whole life was destroyed, I guess, or tried to. Hmm. Ask him about his job at the casino. What about, I mean, I worked at the casino for like three years. What am I supposed to say? What the fuck? Oh, is it? I, I'm actually curious about a couple things. Sure thing. Um, is it really depressing seeing like working class people gamble away their life savings, or you just like? Or just like, eh, I sound like really pretentious, I guess, but I think it depends on the intelligence of the individual watching it. I mean, I don't know. I guess if you think someone is having fun, then it's okay, and you don't really care. I when I was younger, I tried to get into poker like pretty hardcore, and I have a, a pretty good grasp of like all the numbers and everything. So it makes it really hard for me to appreciate gambling because like if I put in a dollar into a slot machine, I just feel like I'm getting back like 95 cents on every single pull, like win or lose, right? Because that's how it averages out over time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I guess like when I see people play, it's not like I kind of feel bad for them, but. I mean, I'm not like crying. I mean, it's not like anybody's forced to sit there and play forever. Okay. Fuck, I need 4K. Fuck, I need 4K really bad. Do you respect the casino industry more than, say, like G2A.com? Uh, of course, yeah. I think G2A is like outright like thievery and stealing. I don't. Like, I think G2A pretty much completely, like, implicitly endorses people stealing keys to sell to them, kind of with the way their business works. The casino at least tries to be responsible, and a lot of the money is redirected into city things, right? Casinos have to donate a lot of money um, for to cities and whatnot so that the cities don't ban them or anything stupid like that. <laughs> that being said, I personally, I'm not a fan of gambling. I don't, I don't like it. I don't really. Think, but uh, think yeah, when you look at how all. stupid a lot of those people are, they really think. Yeah, like that's the big problem with gambling is that it kind of capitalizes on our like psychological um, error or like our defects. Like gambling only works because of how stupid people are with selective memory and whatnot. You know, like you remember wins more than you remember losses and gambler's fallacy and all sorts of things. If I pull the lever enough, I'm bound to win eventually. Like there's too many like bad psychological things that I think that kind of stuff capitalizes gambler's on. Gambler's fallacy is a big one. They're like, oh, look, this roulette table has been black like the last six times in a row. I'm going to put it on red or I'm going to put it on black or, you know, I'm going to go with the flow or I'm going to. Yeah, I've seen like fucking gambler's and fallacies. They have... Gambler's fallacy fucking throwdown. I had an old lady once who was, um, she was like 70 years old right outside where I worked and she was on the slot machine. She must have been this motherfucker for like six hours or some shit. And then she gets up and some lady sits down like right after her and does like two pulls and wins. And this old lady comes back with her bag and starts attacking her, telling her that that was her money. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty. I have, I have friends who like gamble on the CSGO betting sites and I mean, they're not people I consider incredibly stupid, but they all have gambler's fallacy like they're just they're like oh dude it went it rolled high the last like five times i'm gonna put it on low or whatever yeah like yeah. all my friends i think in chat if you think you're wondering who like this is everyone i've seen gamble on csgo bank sets but let's say hot it or yo Mitch i'm whatever. heading to las vegas for the first time like at the it. end of the month it'll be yeah, my think, first um, time going to a casino any tips on not getting shrek and wrecked just go and have fun dog that's how you should ever be doing when you go to a casino 
I think um, like you have to take like a super super intellectual approach. When I when I say intellectual, I just mean like you have to use your head a lot when it comes to figuring the numbers for gambling because your gut and your like your heart will always betray you because you're so bad. Like there's no intuitively you know understanding like if you're winning or losing like you just have to math it out and that's the only way you'll know because you'll always remember wins more than losses you'll always feel like a win is coming your way like you'll you'll never feel like you're losing as hard as you're losing it happens in csgo bet all the time like people bet them but they have like a 70 percent chance to win. They're like oh my god like 70 percent like I, i'm gonna win this like 70 percent of course i'm like you probably are but 30 percent of the time you're gonna lose and the 70 percent of the time you win you're not gonna make enough to make it worth it otherwise the site would go to business like it's pretty easy to understand like yeah, you think yeah, about it sure. but like if you're just kind of going by your gut, it's like, well, 70%, that's a pretty big number. I'll probably win. I'll win 70% most of the time, right? Yeah, you will, but... And then, yeah, it's... it's they're not remembering... Um... They'll just expect to win those 70%ers, so they'll feel like, they'll even feel like they're getting scammed or something, because they'll, they'll be like, okay, I won those 70%ers like five times, and they don't, don't think I'm anything of it, and then they'll lose 30%ers, they'll be like, well, how the fuck did I lose with 70% win? Yeah, there's a big one too, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure, like you lose like an 80 percent like, what? I had 80% to win, how did I lose? It's like, I mean, you won a lot of 80%s, you don't remember? Like. <clears throat> When the chat said you, he bets on sports to make it more fun, I understand that. Who does? I mean, you have it like I. Yeah, you like sitting with your dad or something, like watching the World Cup, and you want to make it more exciting, and you bet on one of the teams or some shit. Oh yeah, betting on um, betting on sports is definitely make, makes it more interesting. I think that's one of the reasons why CS:GO exploded so much. Yeah, when you bet, you have a lot more interest in watching the match. Yeah. Is it worth it to, that I'm buying these rare seeds? Should I not be buying these? I have no idea if the shit that comes out of this is going to be worth or not. Oh. I'm still not sure about those XCOM percentages. I feel like they weren't. I feel like I had way too many scenarios where I ran into like, where I lost like, fuck. There was that one day that I lost four 80% shots in a row, which I think comes out to like less than 1% chance of that happening. I don't know, some of that XCOM shit was crazy. I wanted to measure it over a day, measure the shots to see if it actually came out because it felt a little bit silly sometimes. I'm not sure though. Did you go to school or anything, or...? Nah. I, uh... I got... I mean, probably everyone says shit like that. I got, I, I got really good, like, SAT, but I didn't go... Yeah, I got a 2230. Which, it was on 24... It was on 2400 scale at the time, so... Yeah. Yeah. I think they just changed that, like, the year I graduated. It was really new when they did it for you, right? Yeah, yeah it was new. And now it's back to 1600, right? Or I don't know, but it's it's changed again, I think. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Did you go to school? Uh, music for a little bit, yeah, for college. But um, I wow. quit because I was working too much. Yeah. Just um, uh, I didn't. If I saw some career I wanted uh, at, at the end of the road uh, I had something to achieve and work toward then I would have gone to school yeah but I just I couldn't think of one <laughs> one thing I'd enjoy sure, sure. yeah I do so, wish so. I, I could I wish I could talk better though I just I can't communicate my thoughts 
with the words that well. And I, school maybe would have helped me with that. Like when I, I, I envy how you can uh, just say what you're thinking so clearly, and I, I understand it. But uh, I, I know that I can't do the same thing. I think you speak pretty well, better than most people know. You don't think so? All right, I guess if you can. I don't know. In my in my head, it feels like I'm fumbling all the time. Every sentence, I'm just like, oh wow, fumbled again. But maybe I have high standard for it. But. I have the best words. Some of my best friends are words. What did you did you live with your parents before you started streaming or? So um, for a while. I uh, I went I, I lived with my parents, and then when I was 20, I moved out, and I was paying for my own rent with like WoW money, just from like doing boosts and shit. And also for a little while, there's some like really rich Arab people who would just want to play with me, and they they give me a lot of money for that. So boosts and that. That really happened. Yeah. yeah. And WoW, that was that happened all the time. Uh, one of my friends got. Someone so got someone Gladiator, which is the equivalent of like Legend and Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this guy bought him a BMW that was like sixty five grand or some shit. I don't know. Holy shit! Holy shit. Yeah, this shit happened all the time. And then um, not that to that extent all the time, but just people paying to play with other the yeah, good players. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I was I was doing that, and then um. I was doing like tournaments, but they didn't pay that much. You know, I, I, like winning MLG back then was like nine grand split three ways or something. No. And then, like I said, the sponsors didn't pay us anything. Gotcha. So I wasn't doing that well. Did you ever compete? When, like... when I did start streaming, I streamed for my parents. I moved back to my parents' house and streamed. And... Gotcha. Did you ever compete against Hafu or anything? No, she's she quit playing right. Like wait, she quit playing in the first after the first expansion. And when it actually got really popular was the next one, Wrath of Lich King. You probably heard of Wrath of Lich King, right? Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, she she had quit by that point. Uh, she played Burning Crusade, which is also was a really good expansion. It was, it was awesome, but um, uh, it got way more popular in the next one. And then it peaked in popularity during the next one, and then it just fell off. I'm glad you like this song, Zether. Fuck, I need this harvest crops to come inside money to do anything with. Holy shit. Shamrock, why do you never have milk for me? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? I haven't milked you in so long. Mr. Meowslin. Is she harassing you? I'll tell you, I'll tell you how I got started playing games in general. If you want to hear. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, when I was growing up, I'd play. I played some games. I played Super Nintendo all the time, and even regular Nintendo. And my brothers would watch me. Uh, but what really got me addicted was uh, my brother wanted to make an MMO when I was ten. He wanted to make a Pokemon MMO. So Pokemon was like getting really popular and mm -hmm. he was studying computer science and he had this idea he's like oh I, you know, how the fuck is he actually gonna contact pokemon and get like a lot have them allow him to make this thing i don't know yeah, but, sure. yeah. whatever um i wanted to research what other mmos were like and there were only three mmos out at the time it was like ultima online everquest and astronauts call and i went to the store with them and we got an mmo we we're about to buy everquest but then the guy working there told us to get this astronauts call game and I, I was just watching him play this game after we after we patched which took like three days on dial-up so like three days later <laughs> three days later i was watching him play this game and uh it was so awesome i was just like so excited to level up and get new spells and it was a big open world um you, you, you just explore you explored and didn't really know what the fuck was going on which made it exciting and i don't know it was awesome and yeah, for uh, sure, the beginning of any mmorpg before like everything became like min maxed to the fucking nth degree on the internet and everything yeah yeah so, uh, th there was there was even this system that encouraged. Oh my God, this guy just stole my document. Okay, this guy just one out of five stole my document. It's fine. 
there's a system that encouraged uh, people to help each other. It's really cool. Is um, I hope I'm pronouncing these words right because I haven't heard them since. Patron vassal system. I've, I've never heard the word vassal again, but <laughs> since then. But um, uh, you would take people under you, and uh, if they stayed under you, you would get XP from them leveling, and you would want to give them like gear, or teach them about the game. Because wow, then so this is like under Amway you. for MMORPGs, multi-level marketing. Like what? It's uh, like multi-level marketing for uh, MMORPGs. Yeah. Oh, it, it worked really well, and I mean, it made. It's it's the reason I kept playing. There's this dude who just like was helping me, and I didn't know what the fuck's going on. Whatever. Um, and then uh, I get to, to get to the PVP and stuff. I got addicted, and I was playing my whole childhood. I was like, from when I was 10 years old to when I was 16. Uh, and then when that game died off, it was the most depressed I've ever I'd ever been. And it's actually why I stopped going to school, because uh, it just sounds really lame to some people maybe. But uh, I, I just I only cared about this one thing, this one game, and all the progress I'd made in the game for six years just didn't matter at all, because no one played it anymore, because everyone quit and played World of Warcraft. Damn. Yeah. And there's no yeah, not much no. transferable there, so yeah, that would suck. Yeah, nothing. I mean, uh, like any skills really transferred over from there. Uh. What made you finally hop over to World of Warcraft? Um, I was just so bored and lonely. I had to do something, and my friends were all playing it. And I logged in, and it was really lame because in my MMO, you could dodge fucking projectiles that were coming at you. So if someone cast a frostbolt, you know, you can move out of the way, and it was way more skill based. It seemed than than WoW, where it should just automatically hit you. If someone shot an arrow, you would just hit you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I wasn't that excited about it. And then I, I was like level, I was leveling with my friends. I was a warrior, I was like level 30. And my friend was a mage, he was level 30 or something. And we dueled. And like ma mages would just beat warriors that level. And he beat me like 10 times in a row and I couldn't do anything. And it made me, it made me not feel I wanted to play the game at all. Cause you know, the, just class imbalance, stuff like that, or in, in certain matchups. Uh, the game I was playing before wasn't like that. Yeah. But uh, I ended up just going with it because there's nothing else to do, and I, I ended up being high rated at it when I finally got max level. Actually, I was so I hate leveling so much that I would have never really made it. But a friend of mine just gave me his level account with the name Redfold, so you asked me about my name. So. Oh, nice! Wow, we've come full circle. Yeah. Do you still talk to that same friend today? No, I I, I should. He, I, I know he hangs out in a certain IRC channel, but I never go in there because I have some... Wait, on IRC, people, the, the owner of the thing can see your IP, right, when you go in? Uh, depending um, on how it's hosted. But the host can... I, yeah. I, I should be kind of sketched about going in there, right, if it's someone... Yeah, if, it, if, you, if you don't know about it, then yeah, it's definitely possible, yeah. Yeah, so I was scared to go in there because the guy who... Run, who <laughs> the guy who uh, hosted that shit was kind of crazy and he would just fuck with people and do stupid shit. Sure. So he, he would totally be the kind of guy with DDoS, just for fun. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know how else to contact him. But yeah, he he was my friend for a long time. He was cool. I know his brother. Uh, I guess I could contact him somehow. I know who his brother is on Twitter. But I mean, it's it's never as fun. You contact some old friend and you're just like trying to catch up, and you're like, ah, uh, so what do you like? What's up? How are you? You know? And they're just uh, my my conversations always just spiral into some depressed depressed shit about. Yeah, I don't enjoy anything anymore. <laughs> uh, and they're just like, they're just like, um, yeah, I just fucking do drugs or some shit like that, right? Damn. I don't know. It's fucking making me depressed, holy shit. Yeah. Well, I don't know. When you, when you just catch up with old friends, you, you, they're just like, oh, I like I, I do cool shit now. I like work for Facebook or <laughs> something. What happens with your conversations? I don't really catch up with old friends, so I guess I don't have that those problems. Yeah. yeah. Let's play video games. All my friends I need are the ones in my chat room, right? Well, do the Windows 10 volume levels not fuck you up sometimes? Nope. Why? 
to the message. Because, uh, okay. Truly, this, is uh, this didn't happen to me at 7, but, um... You two should play sometimes CSGO together for memes because volume, I'm getting depressed like as fuck. I changed anything D feels. It's, it's loud at 10% volume. I, I just have no idea what the fuck's going on. And I thought it had to do with Windows 10. I've never had that before. I don't know. Really? Fuck, man. Rip. Something's fucked in your shit. Yeah. Reading an interview with me from 2004? Oh, well. Ask him about the time he made chicken on stream. <laughs> okay. I... There... This guy... I know who exactly who is asking the question in your chat. For I don't know why, but sometimes we did cooking streams, and I cooked chicken and rice one day, and this guy thought that I threw away, like, I made it... Because I made a lot. I usually make a lot, and then I put the rest in the fridge, and I ate it later. For some reason, this guy thought that I, like, threw it all away or something. I don't know why. He, this became, like, very important to him. So, like, every day, we come to my stream, and we're like, I know you threw away all the chicken and rice dressing. Why'd you waste so much time making it? You're so fucking stupid. And it's like, dog, I didn't throw it away. Like, I eat it, like, every day. It's downstairs. And so we bet, ended up betting, like, a subscription over it. So I went downstairs, I opened the fridge, and there was, like, the Tupperware that I'd put it in that had, like, I think there was, like, a third or a half of it left or whatever. Um, and I was like, dude, it's right here. Like, I eat this. Like, what the fuck? And then he subbed, and then now he, like, comes back occasionally and, like, spams my chat with, like, Jesse, why'd you throw away all that chicken? I don't know why or who the guy is or, like, what. I don't know. It's the weirdest fuck story, man. Yeah, it's kind of, it's pretty weird. I don't know. Yeah. He's in my chat. Destiny, what'd you do with your chicken? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, I want to say two years ago. Maybe one year ago. Do you ever go to, like, the Twitch conventions or anything like that? Yeah, I, I don't have that much fun at them unless uh, I, like there's a, an e girl and Twitch girl in mind I'm thinking about hooking up with or something, right? Wow. Would wow. <laughs> you have fun at them? Yeah, I remember those days. Um, I don't I don't go too much anymore though. No. So do you have like a, so like some Twitch streamers have like their like Twitch streamer buddy society, like Soda Poppin and Mitch and Leah and all those people. Do you have like, is there like a group like that with Rackful or I don't know, I don't follow close enough. Well, I'm, I'm in that group. Oh, you are part of that, the, that fun group? Oh, okay. Yeah. Soda Poppin lives 10 minutes north of me. And uh, Mitch is my friend too. That's what's weird when they're getting the drama. Mitch lived with me for two months. Gotcha. It's weird that you know everyone but me, but yeah. Mitch well, no, no, I know. Me. I mean, I know a decent amount, you? There was a time on Mitch's stream, I think, where you walked in and you were banned and you're like, oh, whoa, I can't be in here because you're streaming, right? I remember that, yeah? Right, yeah. yeah, that, was, yeah. that was recent. Yeah, that was in last week. So, <laughs> I think that was like a week ago. But yeah, um, I have some friends, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm doing all right on, on the friend thing. I, I'm glad I talked to you today. I, I, I've watched a couple of your videos, like I told you, and... I thought you were really interesting, so I wanted to for a while, but it's weird to uh, to just approach bro to bro, like, yo, man, let's talk. And then it, it works out that we're both streaming and, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'll always come together with someone to hate on a theme, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't even, um, I didn't even have a very, a super strong opinion, and if I did, I would be scared to say any strong opinions on Twitch because they get mad at me <laughs> for talking about Masan. Did they really? Just they really did get mad at me for talking about that, yeah. Oh. No, and and then people, uh, people thought I was lying for a while. This, it's a long story, but what happened was, oh man, I don't know if I should talk about it. Um, I mean, like if you just briefly mention it, I'll probably know because I read up. Okay, uh, quick, uh, someone working at Twitch told me that he has view bots and they don't really know what to do about it. Oh, I think I remember. Did you tweet about this or something or say something like this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I think I saw that mentioned in um in one of the Hearthstone posts. Yeah, I'm. You probably don't. I feel like I wonder if there are a lot of people like you who just never heard of me. Like I'm in the Hearthstone section all the time, but no, no, I know. I'm not, like I'm I know. Not, like, a serious. I mean, like I'm. Probably so, streamer, you know. I feel like I know a decent amount about you. No, you don't think so? Out. I feel like I've picked out a decent amount of stuff considering we've never talked before. No. Yeah. Yeah. Not not too bad, but I mean, I'm sure you know more about Raynette or Mitch or. 
I don't know anything him. about Mitch other than that one drama thing. I really, I'm a bad example because I, honestly, like, I don't watch streams ever. I think streams are boring as fuck. <laughs> I never watch streams at all. So uh, the I only don't drama, watch streams much either. Yeah. Uh, the only drama I, I know like about is highlights. Oh, but, uh, sure. it's hard to find them. Yeah. So whenever I, I see like, highlights, whenever I seen the cringe subreddit, so that's why I knew a lot about the soda pop and stuff and. Yeah, whatever okay. shows on like live stream fails and shit. And then certain drama, I'll try to catch up on. Or if it's like current events, if it's like a game I'm involved in. So when I got involved in Hearthstone, I had to read up on everything involving Raynad and Masan and all that shit. It's so funny because I remember Masan. Masan was like a little lonely um, StarCraft streamer. And I remember we were in a hotel for some um, lone star, some some event that happened in Louisiana a long, long time ago. And I remember he was asking me um, for tips on streaming in the lobby and whatnot. And he was like, what should I do to become a big streamer? Like, I've been trying a lot for StarCraft. I've only got like 200 viewers. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember. It was so funny. So long ago. And he's like, "This just this little innocent chubby Asian kid. And uh, Yeah, I wonder how he discovered... Uh... <laughs> Power of you, buddy. buddy. You've seen like but, those ten out of ten fucking meme videos, right? With the Amaz, like the movie tier shit. Yep. Yeah. yeah something. Good. Something uh, interesting. He he did it really well because it wasn't that hard to believe that some Asian guy with glasses just being boring would have twenty thousand viewers playing Hearthstone because then you have you have tr Trump, Trump and Amaz sitting there doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So I uh, I was like I was like maybe this is real for for a while uh, until. I kept her, I kept asking people at Twitch about it until someone finally told me. But because uh, I was like, "Come on, I can't," but and I, I I couldn't believe that they would let someone sit there and viewbot every day. I was like, "There's no way they could just let this happen every day." Maybe it must be real, I guess. But then I kept asking people at Twitch, and finally someone cracked and told me. But uh, yeah, his chat was so fucking slow, man. And uh, it's cool he stopped doing it as as much. He doesn't have 20k viewers anymore. I don't know how many he has now, but um. Anyway, I gotta. I, I want to go hang out with my roommate for a bit because I haven't had any social interaction or food today. Yeah, sure. Well, I had social interaction with you through the internet, but wow, you know. thanks. And you play yeah. guitar for me. It was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, uh, nice talking to you. I hope I talk to you again. See you, man. Yeah, we will. Yeah. See you later, man.